Please welcome your Marshalls cheerleaders. Girls of black birds riding with they till it's just kid more than tap if you boys really really know. It's now we squid up, hold up. Number 19, wide receiver, 
special singing performance by our very own Marshall football player, Kyle Mitchell. He will be singing America the Beautiful. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, thy purple mountain majesties above the fruited plains. America, America, God shed his grace on thee, and brown my good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea.
Airman first class, Seth Tabarello, an air crew flight equipment tournament in the 28th Operation Support Squadron, 28 Bombay, at Ellsworth Air Force Base. Seth was born and raised in Virginia Beach and joined the U.S. Air Force in February of 2021. His job is to inspect and maintain equipment used by the King One Bomber Air Crew to ensure safety during flight operations. During his one and a half year station at Ellsworth, he has deployed on a bomber task force to Anderson Air Force Base in Ghana in support of maintaining a free and open in the Pacific. Seth enjoys hunting, working out, and long walks by the way. He loves his truck and sitting by the campfire with his girlfriend. Seth will be participating in tonight's coin toss and delivering the official game ball for our special vision source military appreciation. Gentlemen, welcome to tonight's contest between the Rapid City Marshals and the Billings Outlaws. Our coin tonight will have heads, head, tail, tail, Billings. Seth will tell you the toss. Tails is the call. The result is a head. Defer. You get a ball as we are? Yes, sir. Here we go. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. What's going on, guys? Welcome on into CIF action here. May 20th, Rapid City Marshals hosting the Billings Outlaws and both teams' final game of the regular season. Rapid City Marshals come in 0-9, have not won a game all year. 
and the Billings Outlaws are five and four on a three game win streak. Gonna be a very run heavy game tonight. Slight playoff implications on the line for the Outlaws as if they can win tonight and teams ahead of them lose out the rest of the season, they could potentially host. And for the Marshals, a win tonight gets them out of last place. I am Tyler Lauder joined with Micah Ortiz. Micah, it is our final time here in the Summit Arena. Yeah, uh, been a long season for City Marshals. Probably one to forget, but a lot of progress moving forward, especially in that last game where Rapid City Marshals, we showed some life on offense. You, you know, struggled all year trying to find out who really is our quarterback, where is our play. You know, we've been through about four or five different quarterbacks. Seems to have found one in Waheem Bird. Yeah, do it all, man, Waheem Bird, um, who currently six. is sitting at six in the league in rushing yards yes. as well. And yeah, I mean, the Marshals last week against the Storm were two plays away from having a walk-off victory. Yep. That one one interception across the middle. The one bad throw of the night, really, the one bad play mm -hmm. from the Marshals. And so the Rapid City Marshals deferred, and they are going to kick tonight. Yep, Robert Hoyle doing the kicking instead of Joaquin Bird. You know, Rapid City Marshals do not have a rostered kicker. Kicking by committee here. And we got number zero, Josh Best, also back there with number 41. It says wide receiver. He's a running back. Josh uh, Baptiste. Yes. Who is doing fantastic in the league right yes. now. Number five in rushing yards, number seven in rushing touchdowns. And the first quarter is getting underway right now. Hoyle kicks deep. Fielded inbounds by Best. Best is met by a litany of different tacklers. Josh Murray, chief amongst them, along with Trevor Kerr. So good start here for the City Marshals to contain, contain, contain. And going to be about a six-yard return there as well for number zero. Some new faces on defense particularly some losses as well with uh, no Lakeith Murray occupying the middle to Rapid City Marshall. So no, you know, lost their, their kind of defensive captains and now will kind of rely on the the background of Derek Dyer and Tariq Pousset. And Derek Dyer is a guy out there that is just, I mean, before he got injured, you know, about a month ago, a month and a half ago, he was almost at the top in solo tackles. And so it's going to be a nice little thing for him to bring here. Yep, tackling machine Derek Dyer to wearing number five. Going to work with two running back, uh, linebackers here. Lorenz Stefan hands off to Baptiste and is tackled from number 10 of Rapid City Marshals. Yeah, gonna give him a three yard gain there. And I anticipate that we are gonna see a lot of rushing attempts tonight for this, uh, for this, uh, you know, Outlaws team who come into the game yep. running a lot. Yeah, last on passing, super run heavy. So it's kind of been the weakness for the Rapid City Marshals. So let's see if they can overcome this. Stefan drops back, throws, and is caught by number three, Chris Lewis. A three-yard gain there. Tackle on the sideline from Josh Murray. And just as we say that they are last in throwing, but I mean, yeah, in, in, in rushing, this team puts out 90 yards on the ground per game. Yep. Uh, they only put out a total of 173 yards. This game might not be as one-sided as it was in the first matchup when the Outlaws took them down 18 to 49. Third down and about five to go. Stefan drops back, feels the heat, dumps across the middle, is caught by number 18 and tackled again by Josh Murray, number 18 with the catch there. That is Caleb Woods. So. Josh Murray's making a quick name for himself there. Number six, Rapid City Marshals with two solos and one assistant. So two and a half tackles and on the day. 13 yards there on the reception as well. We saw Corey Tucker kind of go for a, a swat maybe to try and knock the ball out. Yeah. The Rapid City Marshals DBs uh, are, are tail of uh, a teeter-totter. One side loves to just get the tackle and wrap up. Yep. The other side likes to try and make big plays tonight. So far, three positive plays for the Outlaws. Stefan drops back, caught by Best, is met again by a gang of tacklers. Josh, or sorry, I should say. Dyer Derek there. Derek Dyer there. Yep, Didn't let him five. go. You know, Derek Dyer is a tackling machine. And he's he's going to be around the ball almost every single chance that he has. So good to see him back, caught by number three. Yep. Yeah, and that's going to be an eight-yard gain for him. So we're going to have about second and two here on the nine-yard line. Oh, caught by number zero. I apologize. You're good. That would be uh, Chris Best or Josh Best. Josh Best. Yeah, Derek Dyer is not going to let people get away from him when he wraps you up. Short man, but packing a big punch there. Stefan 
Op operating with Batiste in the background and is broken up by Josh Murray. Intended target there is Chris Lewis, number three, but is broken up. Great reaction there by he Josh had, Murray. He ran a great route there, uh, really almost breaking away, but Murray read it like a book and yep. knew exactly where he was going. And Murray's already won defensive MVP of a game, already once this year, and he's still going to make a statement in he's, this game against the uh, Billings Outlaws. He's also actually pulled in uh, an offensive player of the game last yeah. week as well, running at the ball. Here we go, third and two. Hands off to Baptiste, tackled hard at the original line of scrimmage. <laughs> Gain of nothing there as Big Jared Johnson wrecking house along with Tariq Fousse, number seven. And uh, maybe why it's a little different. It's going to be fourth down here. We're going to see if they're going to bring out their kicker. They have a kicker. You might as well take advantage. But the big difference here is that the Outlaws are without middle linebacker slash yep. touchdown vulture machine, uh, Denarius Antone. Anthony. Who's all, yep. Anthony, who's also number one in solo tackles in the league. It might be a resting for the playoffs, I think. And they are going to go for it here with nobody in the backfield. They anticipate maybe a receiver running underneath. Yep. Or Stefan keeping himself here, and he does just that, and is met hard. And that's a sack from by number zero, Eddie Hamilton. Welcome to the show, kid. And that's going to be a three-yard loss right there. Turnover on downs. Eddie Hamilton playing with his hair on fire. Fantastic sack right there. So, Rapid City Marshals come out. I mean, we talk about it. They, they do have the outlaws. have Billy Perry who can kick field goals. You might yep. as well take the points. They might be sitting in a situation where they're just going to try new things. Rapid City Marshals were on fire last week, uh, having six consecutive drives, or five consecutive drives of points. Let's see if they can continue the streak with Bird at quarterback, and it looks like a healthy Tim Hogan yep. is back as well. And rocking the four-man front, too, with Shea Roberts operating as the last lineman. Hogan. Gets the ball, scrambling, and still pushing forward there with a little help from Justin Calderon. Eventually brought down by number seven of the Billings Outlaws. That'll be Dem uh, Damian Francis, but still. Tim Hogan is a thick individual and also get receives a little help from his friends. And Justin Calderon, the shattering kid. Five yard, five yard gain right there, despite, despite what they're saying here in the stands. Uh, so we're looking at the 18 yard line, second and five to go. Got to get to the 22 and a half, it looks like. Yeah, very short five. Expect him to run the ball again. And just keep Bird operating with the full sleeves. Gets rocks him. out, bounces out, and can't quite make it back to the original. Oh, they actually gained about three yards, two yards. Yeah, about two yards there. Yeah, tackled by a gang of tacklers there as well with number one. And of the Red Billings Outlaws. We saw Bird last week hit in the 90s on rushing yards as well as having two touchdowns. It's going to be about third and two here. Two and a half. You can't really tell, but it looks like it's risen between the 22 and 23 yard line. Lots of contact after uh, after the whistle there, too. See if teams get as chippy as the Storm did last week. Bird hands off to Hogan. Hogan bounces outside, but it's tackled for loss from number 56, Victor Martinelli. Not related to Gabrielle Martinelli of the Arsenal Football Club. But he's hurting right now. Uh oh, he's, he's hurting now. That is a big loss. That's going to be a three yard loss there, but yeah, he is instantly down. That should be a, a timeout for an injury. Officials timeout for injury. This will also be the media timeout. Two, two minute two, media timeout. Two. With that media timeout, we're gonna take a break here. Uh, eight minutes, 17 seconds left in the first quarter. 0-0 zero, zero, Marshalls are now in fourth down territory.
early in the first quarter. Dance Cam shows its space, getting people up and moving to keep the energy up. Shea Murray, or sorry, Shea Roberts, lining up at wide receiver. McKinley Smith and Kevin Chisholm will be the motion men. So different look here as Bird drops back on the fourth down. Pass is overthrown. Intended target is McKinley Smith, but pass is overthrown. So this is kind of where you start to see, oh, Waheem Bird is not really a quarterback. Yeah. He, is, he is a supreme athlete, arguably the best athlete out there, but not a quarterback. It's where you might have seen Kyle Mitchell in past games, Taj Thomas Tolbert, make that catch. Or make that throw, rather. Yeah, and, and right there, the, the only problem that we had there is that McKinley Smith was wide open, actually. Oh, my God. They get, they gave him, like, a 10-yard cushion. I don't know if he thought he was running a go route there and he thought yeah. he was going to go deep. There was still, yeah, four or five yards there. If he could have just hit him right in the chest, they had a first down there. So the play calling, we're going to say, is actually doing it, its job right now. It's under yep. that loss of yardage there. But this he, is going to be a to execute. momentum killer right there. Let's see if the outlaws can take advantage. Stefan. Operating with Baptiste, hands off to Lewis. Lewis bounces outside and is tackled off the perimeter from Jared Johnson. So kind of a weird spot for Jared Johnson to be operating at. They're going to give a one-yard gain there for him. Uh, yeah, Jared Johnson bouncing outside. But yeah, yeah, Chris Lewis, uh, this, this play, if you're any coach coming in to play the Marshals, that play should be drawn up a dozen times a game because yep. outside of that right there, uh, the Marshals have been yet to stop it. Stefan drops back for the pass. Pass is caught over the middle from number zero. Best. Best eventually is twisted down with the help of Tariq Pousset, but it'll be a first down. Move the chains. First and goal. No, it looks like it's going to be just short. Oh, no, just short. Sorry. It's going to be an eight yard gain there, so it's going to be third and one. Uh, you're good. Yeah, so they, they got to get to the, the six yard line. And we saw Murray there try and make a big play and not hold him up. Fantastic play there by Best. Two receptions already in this first quarter. Here we go, third down and one. Expect a run up the middle. Stefan hands off to Baptiste. Baptiste met, but eventually pushed forward with the help of Daniel Bice. Maybe, probably could have driven him back a little bit, but able to push forward. The first and goal here. Yeah, gonna be a gonna be a four yard gain there. You almost might wonder if uh, that might have been a zero yard gain if Daniel Bice didn't yeah. actually hit them. He's such a, he's got such momentum going. He's like a locomotive. Once he gets going, he can't stop. So first and goal, they got four downs to play with to get four yards. Hands off to Baptiste. Baptiste scrambles out, dump Daniel back Bice. to Daniel Bice, you know. We we're talking about Daniel Bice earlier in, on the pregame about him potentially leading the team in tackles. He is not, but he does lead the, the team in pressures. And tackle for losses as well. Yeah. I mean, right there, he gets four yards and then loses four yards. So we're back here at the seven. This is going to be a loss of three yards right there. A very uh, good stretch out for him, but yeah, good shoestring tackle. Under center is Stefan. Stefan jumps across over the middle, caught for a touchdown. Caleb Woods, number 18. And Corey Tucker sleeping there, so it's going to be a seven yard touchdown. I don't know if the coverage was missed. Maybe he wasn't asleep. Maybe he was working on another uh, look and everything. Yeah, but he appears to be talking to Antoine Smith about this defensive coordinator. Just, they, just seem to, seem to have gotten lost. Don't know whether that was by design or just really good, really good run from Caleb Woods. But I think the play under center is what caught everybody back. Yeah, absolutely. Most of the time when you see that, somebody's running kind of up the, up the middle. But, yeah. but going for one here with the left foot, the southpaw, Billy Perry. The storm last week uh, hit all but one extra point. That was kind of the, the, the tipping point of, of the game, the fact that they had a, a kicker out there. Perry. Snap oh, is bouncing. It's snap. Bad. Alert from Dyer. Dyer scrambles, throws. Incomplete. So, the Bosch special teams play leads to a failed point after attempt. Uh, you know, a short field to play with. Only had to go, you know, about a dozen yards, and they get the touchdown. Miscommunication on coverage, sleeping, whatever you want to call it. Marshalls didn't deliver right there. It's something that's got to be fixed. When you're down on the goal line, I mean, you've got to man up and mark your guy. Yeah. And that was actually a listed quarterback who did make that throw. That was Jamario Benson, the backup for Laurent Stefan. But just, I mean, it all kind of panics, you know. 
What else do you do? You know, he saw Tony Romo box a snap and lead to one of the worst special teams plays of all time. So, not to say that that is equivalent, but just saying that sometimes quarterbacks aren't used to operating from one knee. Yeah, but right now, we do have a quarterback back here. Kyle Mitchell is back here. Set with, return with Kevin return. Chisholm. Yeah, with Kevin Chisholm, who is uh, top, he's, he's top 10 in return yards as well. Weird. This is very interesting. We have not seen him back here. Uh, given a little break there for Joshua Murray, who we saw last week. Uh, we saw the Keith Murray as well as a former return man, Davis. Lots of different guys have rotated through, but Kevin Chisholm has been the same, maintained. You got two quarterbacks on your roster, though. You might as well use them in some manner. So, Perry didn't really get to see his leg the last time, so let's see, see what he's working with here. The southpaw, the lefty. Kick is squibbed up the middle, fielded. Probably want, ideally not Kyle Mitchell returning, but breaks out of one tackle and two, and is eventually tackled by number 21 of the Billings Outlaws. That'll be Rashawn Stewart the second. So, think about 10 yard return there as out. well for him. Media timeout. So good on him right there as well. Yep. And not a, a fantastic kick there as well by yeah. our actual only kicker here. I'm really only placing the ball to about, what do we got, about the 12-yard line. That was very smart, though, to kick it at Kyle Mitchell, but he did make he did make an outlaw miss. So this is a uh, good classic game of the Marshalls versus the Outlaws, good versus evil. So let's hope good can prevail here with the second drive for Waheem Bird. Saw a lot of success with the run. Saw an opportunity for the pass. Let's see if we can tie it all together here. Get a holy matrimony for offense. Yeah, and uh, as we're finding out right now, uh, Caleb Woods got his first CIF touchdown. That was his very first in the league. First so, ever. Wow, good for first him. Ever. So welcome on in, and thank you for those in the chat. Most people, when we got live games going on, we don't always have everybody paying attention. We pay attention here. We listen to you guys. You guys know some stuff that we don't know about. Yeah, the we're, we're interactive. Here. Yeah. So congrats for Caleb Woods and uh, making it to the show. Good for him. A lot of big things happening here in the Marshalls. We had, you know, a, a player hit his 100 rushing touchdowns yep. this season. We've had guys hit their 30th passing touchdown this season. You know, now we have guys getting their first. So Web City Marshalls, they've got to react and respond right away. Yep. I mean, three straight run plays. We can call that pass a punt almost, you know, yep. most times. They've got to get a little more creative, but the play calling is not has, has been good so far. Rocking the four-man fronts again with Kevin Chisholm, the motion man. Handoff is to Hogan. Hogan can't quite bounce outside. Tackle for a loss from number nine. Yeah, Devontae Brown was yeah, there right away. Him. He playing with his hair on fire. That is a tackle for a loss there as well. Fantastic. So one-yard loss there. Back to the 21-yard line. There was a hole that opened up in the middle, and Hogan would have had to meet somebody, but momentum would have been able to propel him for one or two yards. Instead, he decides to cut outside and go lateral. Unfortunately, he was not able to get past loss, Brown. Yeah. Bird, again, keeps himself with that read option. is met hard from a couple of tacklers, but bounces off of Kendall yeah. Jefferson. Kendall but Jefferson tried making the hit, but yeah, yeah. Bird, Bird's able to get two yards there as well. So, going to wash here with third and long. Oh, three yards. Third and nine. Currently on the 24. They do have two plays going to potentially try and, you know, move forward. Let's see if they play it safe to just gain yardage here or if they try and get the first down on this play. Bird it keeps it himself, scrambles, Ch throws Chisholm long, from his Kevin Chisholm. Breaking off in the back of the end zone, but it's picked off by number 21 of the Billings Outlaws. His return to halfway point is eventually tackled by Shea Roberts and Nomni Banks EK and Noah Smaltz. But number 21 there, Rashad Stewart, the second. So, second time we called this name, first interception for the kid. We got mark it down there that that was a 23 yard return as well for him. It is very interesting though, because if you watch on the replay, and I could be wrong here, but as the as the as the interception happens, it almost looked like Kevin Chisholm was holding him as he touched the pad. Should have been a touchback. Yeah, there. it looks like it should have been called back there with the uh, out of bounds line. Let's see if they want to challenge this. I don't think there don't will think be a challenge so. out there. 
But it's interesting because as soon as you make contact there, and we did see Kevin Chisholm recover oh, and kind of make that here. final hit. Needs to be brought back. Defense is getting around uh, defense coordinator Antoine Smith. I think I read the lips. There. I think it said challenging the play. Challenging the previous play that the runner was down in the end zone by contact. The yes. play will be a re under review. Smart from Coach Dudley there is down by contact, and I, he uh, was holding him against the wall. So. And, and I promise you guys right now, there is no communication or contact from us to any of the coaches on either side. Yeah. I'm going to say right now, though, that if this gets called back, and it is a touchback, genius. Genius. Brilliant. Boy wonder Tyler Louder. Not so much a boy, though, anymore. MC Wyatt Turf is in the house, getting the crowd hyped here. Yeah, with our new mascot walking around as well. Fans inside the chat, though, there's no uh, there's no background information on any player that is uh, cut or released from any team in this league. Uh, that even if we did know that we would divulge on in this situation. So, if you're curious on why some players aren't here, they just aren't. It's just like we're talking about. We don't know. We don't know what Denarius Antoine is. Antone. Yep. I think it's just a resting, you know, resting yeah. your guys for playoffs. So this is on the roster, so no, he's not cut, but maybe just resting up here. But kid is obviously a stud. As you know, tail the tape here, right? Win for the Outlaws and a loss for the Bandits. They play Liberty and the Beef. So lose out for the Bandits equals a home playoff game, right? Yeah. They keep trying to shoot for this. They're, Outlaws, are, Outlaws are on a three-game win streak, right? They're trying to keep chipping away and get in that four seat so they can host a playoff game. And both those teams at the four and five, I mean, they don't, none of, neither of them want to be the five. Yeah, they, traveling they from will Sioux City other. to Billings, nobody wants to make oh that God, drive. Oh my God, it's awful. And so, essentially, if the Sioux City Bandits don't beat the number one and number three team, at least one of them, and they lose out and the Outlaws win tonight, that's going to be a long drive, yeah. and especially coming off a two-game losing streak as yep. well. So, they got the hope. So, we're going to have the official call here. We're going to find out what they believe I think we're moving the ball back. He was holding on. The, run, the interceptor was contacted while he Down to five. The Tyler's a genius. Therefore, the previous play is a touchback. Golf claps First for, down for the five yard line. color Tyler Billings. Louder. Golf claps, golf claps. Which means no yards returned there, and it's going to be a tackle for Kevin Chisholm actually gets the tackle. Yep. Instead of Shea Robert. So, touchback in the CIF. Indoor football brings it back to the five yard line, which for the Marshals only means one of two things. Don't get beat deep. But it also gives you some room to kind of build some defensive momentum. So yep. Especially with uh, Trevor Kerr blitzing. But Stefan drops back, looks to pass, does. Pass is caught by Caleb Woods. Woods able to escape the tackle of Kerr, but is eventually wrapped up by Corey Tucker. Five-yard gain there for number 18 as well. So 18. Caleb Woods really seems to be the, the action man here early on for the passing game for the Billings Outlaws. Three receptions, 25 yards, and a touchdown already. Uh, the release there of uh, Lorenz Stefan was very interesting. Yeah. I'm not sure if his shoulder isn't exactly up. He is number four in the league in yards and touchdowns, a number two in yards per game, actually, as well from passing. Alone in the backfield is Stefan. Stefan slings it outside, I believe, to best. It's going to be a, a generous. No, it's going to be a two yard gain there. I thought they were going to give him the extra yard right there. So, so, yeah, caught by Batiste Star. Yeah, Batiste got the catch there, so. Third down and three as we are sitting. It means that uh, they could be running the ball up here. They got two plays to play with. I think they're going to get creative. And there it is. Oh, snuck off, handoff to Batiste, he's tackled hard, tackle for loss from number seven, Tariq Poussey. Yeah, it's going to be a one-yard loss there for Batiste. Three of his five runs have an edit in zero or negative yardage right there. Crazy situation here, you have the lead, you have a kicker. If you miss a field goal, yep. it takes it back to the five-yard line. I'm surprised they're going for it. I'm also not, though. The Marshals have got to buckle down and... Find your marker. Outlaws are ready to make a cut as soon as they receive that ball. Oh, be free play. Uh, eventually smartly wised off there, but Daniel Bice there, the victim of a illegal touching. 
Yeah, I think Eddie Hamilton might have jumped a little bit before him as well. Offsides, defense, number 98. Yeah, Daniel Bice there, the culprit. So free Ross first down. Play. First down. Oh, sorry for the... And again, Come based on the interpretation, interesting for calling it an offsides and not letting a play continue. There's very a lot of inconsistency there. We're going to say since he made touch to the quarterback that it is an, uh, an encroachment type situation yep. uh, of why they didn't get a continuation on the play. We saw that last week with the Marshals where there was uh, there was three offsides and only one of them they let them continue to play. So first and ten from the 16. Stephon drops back. Looks fire across the middle, caught by Caleb Woods. Again, his third catch, and it's tackled by Hussein Kerr. Going to be a 16-yard gain there. His fourth catch, actually. Uh, it's going to put him at 41 yards as well. Yeah, Caleb Woods really seems to be this offense for the Billings Outlaws early on in this game. 20 seconds left in the first. Especially with these two teams being, like, extremely run-heavy teams. This ball game will be over quick. Game clock leaking down. Stefan gets a snap off his time. Dumps off to Lewis. Lewis bounces outside. Pushed out of bounds by Trevor Kerr and Derek Dyer. It'll be a three yard gain there for him. It's the end of the first quarter. And it is 6-0, Rapid City Marshals down against the Billings Outlaws. As the Outlaws have a second and seven, we will be right back on this quarter switch. And we are back now as we switch sides of the field. So coming into today's game, the Outlaws, uh, their passing offense was very far and few between. They were last the league in yards per game. So far, Stefan is 9 for 10 on completions. Yeah, killing us. Stefan drops back, caught by Batiste, tackled by Kerr. Oh, whistle was blown, but don't know if we'll fully heard it, but Trevor Kerr there. It'll be a one-yard game there. Tackle. It was it was a very faint whistle, I will say this, for Tariq Boussey coming in there. Yeah. I heard a slight whistle, but nobody stopped to play at that moment either. And there we go. As we see the replay there, it's going to be third down. Going to be about five yards to go nope. for them as well as they're on the 13-yard line. Third and medium. A rush at the middle would be unpredicted. Stefan keeps himself, fires to the back of the end zone, is caught again for Caleb Woods. Second ton of the game. Fifth reception as well. Fantastic play there for him. Yeah. He just had, he had Tucker beat the entire way as we rewatch this route. He takes him with him all the way across and that separation halfway Even through. Even had safety help with Derek Dyer, but Woods just seemed to be faster than everybody else. Yeah, and Derek Dyer's field. reaction time to that zone was not there. So Marsh find themselves in a hole here. Down 12-0 as they try to go for two from the five here. Interesting as it wasn't the kicker's fault last time where they yeah. didn't get their extra point, but Looking going for three here from the five yard line. Even this up as Stefan drops back, feels the heat, is dumps off to Baptiste for the completed point after attempt.
Actually, so put three on the board there as those outlaws are now up 15 to zero. Interesting call there. Already having the lead up 12, not wanting to get your kicker a rep and everything. Yeah, that just kind of went their whole way, and we saw a blitz up the middle there by Tariq Busey, the linebacker, and it just left uh, an unmarked man as well. So it's a uh, story as old as time for this year for the Rapid City Marshals, finding themselves down early, now trying to punch their way out of it. Last week you saw them perform really at their weight class. You know, we saw the Cape Village Rapid City Marshals offense. Now we're seeing some similar struggles here with Billings Outlaws having really good defense as Kendall Jefferson wanders out of his Confused on which side he was play. supposed to move out on. Yeah, 15-0 here. The Marshals have been in this situation a lot. Billings Outlaws kind of everything going their way. Really uncharacteristic. I mean, 10 for 11 for uh, Stefan right now. Fantastic for him to do what they normally haven't done. And at halftime, we'll add up the numbers. I'm going to tell you right now, I am confident that they are already over their average passing yards per game of 82. So the Killing lefty it. taking it from the far left angle right here as well. Yeah, probably we'll try to sink this back in, especially with Kyle Mitchell back there to field. Probably got to assume this ball's going to try and find its way to him. I feel like Chisholm should be switching sides with Mitchell as well. It has to be a target. But let's see what they do here as the opening kick, or the second kickoff goes. Yeah, angled right over the top of, nope, field by Corey Tucker. Tucker bounces outside, lacking some blocks, but return to the halfway point at the 25-yard line. Yeah, it gets... Gets a, gets a confident 10 yards there as well. We talk about this, the problem with your second line receiving that ball is that both of your blockers that could help you are behind you. There's not much you can do, you wanna run, but essentially if he could have pitched that ball off to Chisholm or anything, he could have turned around and blocked. Mitchell wasn't able to get up there and block for him, but good for Corey Tucker to grab the ball and get 10 yards. 25 yard line is a fantastic place to be. Yep, you couldn't saw, ask for a better. We saw last week where there was a, a fumble on the on the kickoff, and Marshall's got the ball on like the four yard line. So, see if they can come back from that interception. Bird hands off to Chisholm. Chisholm oh, met hard from number forty-seven, Rashad Powell, the senior. That's his second solo last last tackle coming on the play on special teams. Four yard loss there. Yep, Powell out there because of the injured Victor Martinelli. So. I'm going to say, though, that, that, most of his opportunity. that is a play that I think the Marshals should be running more, even though it didn't have success. They do need to get the ball in Kevin Chisholm's hand yep. very soon. I know we, if, if anything, what we do, we're not, like, biased to a home team. We're biased to a player. He is one of the most electric receivers in this league. He just needs more touches. With the lack of touches even getting, he's number eight in the league in yards. Yep. Motion man again. Fakes the handoff. While Bird keeps himself. Bounces outside for a gain of about three. Tackled there for number seven. Yeah. Isaiah Grice. Nope, sorry, uh, Damian Francis. Yeah, Francis is able to kind of get the wrap-up. There should have been potentially there. I mean, there's only a two-yard gain. Yep. Bird should have been tackled for loss there two or three times. He is so elusive. Yep. And is able to, he's so able to cut and get forward and just gain yards. So third and 12 to go for the Marshals. Not a great start after you throw an interception. You want to come back against positivity. Kind of puts them in a situation where they could throw here. There's a lot of cushion from these outlaws cornerbacks. Bird keeps himself again, bounces out. It's tackled from Powell and number five. Pretty nice four yard Jeff gain Luke. there. Gonna put us at fourth and eight now. This is where having a kicker would be very beneficial. As the PA announcer talks about Spearfish Sasquatch, do want to shout out Spearfish Sasquatch as they kick off their season home game on the 26th next week of May. Players. Firework night in Spearfish, South Dakota. Players showing up this week as well. Yep. I'm going to say right now, though, if you go back in time and look at everything, that's one of the best drawn up plays. Yep. Bird drops back. Target, man, it's Kevin Chisholm is broken up from number one, Kendall Jefferson. Great so, pass turnover break up on right downs there. there. I'm going to say great route. The timing wasn't great on the delivery of the yeah. pass. However, it was placed really well. That is a great defensive play. He also had, I mean, everybody ran that check down. Hogan was open in the middle a little bit. Shea Roberts might have caught it. I don't know if he could have got separation right there. He had two guys around him. Close, but no cigar. 
Not going to lie, I would take an interception in the end zone right now. That would have been so much beneficial in there. Call that an arm punt. Yeah. So they're back on. Let's see if they're going to keep throwing the ball, and they are. Stephon alone in the backfield, drops back, looks for Caleb Woods over the middle, and jumps over. Absolutely mosses Derek Dyer on the first play of the third drive. Fourth drive, rather, but Caleb Woods. A hat trick of touchdowns. And he was able to get that separation right there and get over him, and that is purely a size thing. I, I don't know if there's anything that Dyer could have done. He just went up and he wasn't able to turn back. McKinley Smith was there as well, but just behind. That was a fantastic, and they're going for three again, so yep. a little bit of rubbing salt in the wound. I call this disrespect in the CIF in any sports world. Already up 21 nothing. Stephon gets back, snap, drops back, and is tries to fit it in there to Chris Lewis. It's caught, but is tackled from Dyer and McKinley. So counting uh, extra point attempts as well, uh, I mean, uh, uh, you know, passing attempts, Stefan's already got to be over his, like, attempt average. Still only one in completion. Great job by the coach there. You know, interim head coach Sean King has been producing a fantastic game plan yeah, here. Yeah, three-game win streak there from Coach King. And not only that, but they come out on fire, and we're only, you know, six minutes in, not even into the second quarter, and they've already scored on three drives. Nothing's changing for the Marshals here as they're kind of staying with this lineup of uh, on their kick return. I'm actually surprised they don't kind of stack their returners, put somebody up about the 10, and then have Chisholm back there on his own. Just give yourself more blockers. And for being a kicker, I mean, we're not seeing uh, Perry put this ball deep. He has yet yeah, to put the ball past the 10-yard line. Kind of yanking it close here as the southpaw is set to kick. Mitchell and Chisholm in the back. Cody and Tucker, second line. Ball is kicked right at Kyle Mitchell and is fielded. Eventually, the end zone has to get out of the end zone. Scrambles. And it's tackled at the six yard line there. Kind of a high low situation. Tackled from number 72. And number one, Kendall Jefferson, number 72, of course. So a two very, to the media very nice bounce going two yards media into the end zone. Out. Gonna be a nice seven yard return there by Kyle as well. Again, there's the there's the talk. I mean, this is something we've got to talk about. This has got to be a change that they've got to do. If they get scored on again, you have to put Kevin Chisholm over there. I, I am I'm baffled that it hasn't happened yet. Or that he hasn't called an auto himself. Not saying that Mitchell can't do anything himself. Well, you have the kind of athlete that Kevin Chisholm is. Yeah. Right? And have to let your athlete athlete. And good job there on Mitchell to not let it have, you know, a, a rose kind of happen in there and give away a free point as the ball rolled into the end zone and getting out, getting seven yards there. First in 10 here from the six yard line, Rapid City Marshalls had some disappointing drives here now. So far, only two pass attempts. And they've got eight rushing attempts. Nothing is going too well for them. Only two runs over four yards so far on the day as well. Gotta feel like Bird is due for a big one. The interesting aspect about, you know, having four offensive linemen out there is putting Shea Roberts out. That wide receiver. receiver. It is interesting. Allows Chisholm and McKinley to Tim be the host, man. With an interesting setup. Gets this ball as he stumbles and rumbles. Eventually tackled for number one, Kendall Jefferson. But Tim Hogan, good for five. Yeah, fantastic. Everything was telling you the Marshals were going to go left right there. If you would have asked me to predict if Bird was going to hold on to that ball and cut left, I would have said yes. Yeah. Especially, especially with having Shea Roberts out there on the perimeter blocking. And pulling it back there, only a four yard gain. Interesting spotting. McKinley Smith out wide. And we're seeing wide receiver Promi enter the game. Ball is handed off to Chisholm. Just as we say, you know, speaking of the devil, he shall appear. Kevin Chisholm. Zero yards. Bounces out for a loss of one there as number 21. 21. 
Yeah, Rashawn Stewart the second there with the TFL. Third down and six to go. Looks like there's an Outlaws fan uh, receiving a Rapid City Marshalls t-shirt for his travels. Billings only six hours away from downtown Rapid City's Bird looks deep, pass is caught from McKinley Smith. Gang tackle there for number eight, number nine of the Billings Outlaws. I believe that is Jamario Benson and Devontae Brown. They're gonna be an 11 yard gain there as well for McKinley Smith. First completion as well. Yeah, move the chains, how about that? That was his only look though too. If you guys are watching there, Bird was zoned in and only wanted to throw to McKinley Smith. They were just waiting for that, that check back right there. Fantastic way, and you got to build some momentum. And we see that unique four man offense here, line there. Bird keeps it himself there on the RPO. Bounces outside, is tackled again by Brashawn Stewart, but after a gain of eight. So keep those legs moving, Bird. And Kevin Chisholm, who normally doesn't play in the back, uh, returning or rushing the ball, kind of surprised there as well on the RPO. Uh, wasn't exactly sure if he was going to have it. Yeah, a little, little unfair, back. Uh, familiarity there with the position there. Which is an okay thing because yep. if the guy that's supposed to be running the ball doesn't know who has the ball, the defense doesn't either. And we see eight yards there as Bird is finding his legs. Or Second his and wings, two. Rather. Absolutely. Cromie. The motion man, Bird. Looks to do a little jump pass action, but keeps it himself there. And is tackled again from Stewart. Ball is fumbled out of bounds. But move the chains, Bird says. They get a four yard gain there as well. Again, tackle from Rashawn Stewart. You talk about wings and everything, you, you, you got to learn to walk and run before you can fly. Yep. It's as simple as that. Just connect, you know, the easy passes, right? Take what they give you, get those legs moving as Chromie subs out and Cody subs in. Just give it some time. I mean, yep. I mean, uh, Waheen Bird is, is a velociraptor out there, very agile and quick and intelligent, but he will blossom into an eagle by the time this game is over. First and 10 from the 18-yard line. Marshalls can do whatever they want here. Cody, the motion man, flipped over to Chisholm. Chisholm bounces on the perimeter, but it's tackled from number seven, Damian Francis. Gonna get him about a yard there, which is kind of what you want. You can't have these negative yards. You're, you gotta move yep. the chains a have little to keep bit. Keep chipping away something, right? One yard is positive. I mean, it's the best run we've seen so far from Chisholm. He's had you know, runs of minus four and zero as well. Not to his credit, just the line kind of broke down and great reading for some of these defenders for the Outlaws. Expect maybe a play action here or something over top to try and get a quick score here. I don't Let's think get the marshal something on offense. I don't think anybody would be anticipating a pass here on second and nine. Yeah. Cody in motion. Bird there does it the is. pass. Look, he has Cody. Speaking of the devil, she shall appear. McKinley Smith, the target man, but is thrown. He had Cody Over. on an out route as well. Yeah. Looked like he was always going to go to the end zone on that play. Double covered though, so even if he would have went up, and we have seen McKinley Smith. Moss. It is he is Moss. It is a highlight reel. It's in it's in our our you know opening hype video we have here. Third down and nine here on the 17 yard line. I know they need to get nine yards. I wouldn't be surprised if they try and run Chisholm through the left guard just to gain some yardage here. Pelic passing again. He has Two Chisholm. He passes up with thrown way over the head to the back of the end zone for Damian Francis. Don't really know what Bird was doing there. As Francis was just playing a soft zone and the ball just fell to him. McKinley Smith with the tackle there. Must have been a miscommunication on the route. He must have thought it was a go there. McKinley Smith actually stopped at about the five yard line. And if he would have turned his head, he had Kevin Chisholm who broke out from blocking and was there. You know, once again, talking about, you know, the all the overcomings, right? Obstacles that Wayne Bird has cleared playing quarterback as a running back receiver. That is one of his shortcomings, right? Not being familiar with passing the ball all the time. A lot of room down here. We're going to see a matchup, though. We do have um, uh, Caleb Woods matched up with McKinley Smith. 
on the far side. Pass is over, dumped off to Woods, and is tackled from McKinley Smith. So, nine yard game there. Thomas there, Tyler Lauder predicts the play in the matchup. He sees his matchup, and McKinley Smith has been trying to transfer over into playing some defensive back as well. Really wanted to kind of push through. This Marshalls team, if you look at their roster, are lighter on DB than they have been the whole year. One yep. of the most um, defensive back and wide receiver normally have carried about five, six guys, and they've only got about three on the roster here. And that's not even having Josh Murray out there. Oh, sorry, Josh Murray is out there. Not Corey Tucker, though. Flipped over to Baptiste. Baptiste bounces out on the sideline. Tackle from Eddie Hamilton, number zero. Yeah, they're going to give him about a solid eight yards there as well. A uh, best run of the day so far from Baptiste. Who, if we said earlier and you guys in here, is number five in rushing yards uh, in the league as well as number seven in rushing touchdowns as well. And that's with the number two guy, the uh, number three guy in the league. You know, on their own team, not even playing tonight. Here we go, first and 10 from the 22 yard line. A long Bad snap. Great snap. Stefan scrambles, throws. Plenty of time, wide open guy. Top from number one, Josh Best. Or number zero, sorry. He meant to tackle from Josh Murray, but still. 18 yard reception. Broken there. down play, can't quite swing away for the Marshalls. Third reception for Best on the day. The Outlaws are going to be setting a record here for themselves, season record on passing yeah. yards and attempts. Defense. Defense. A broken play, and it wasn't even a broken route. He was just wide open by himself, deep down, and able to get about eight yards after the catch as well. First down and goal now from the eight-yard line. Batiste ready to hand this, get, receive this ball. Woods and best the motion man as Stefan looks to throw to the back of the end zone. Pass is targeted to Caleb Woods, right? And Not broke, don't fix it, but broken up from Derek Dyer. So De good good redemption there for the kid. Derek Dyer able to get a deflection there. The, I mean, the deflection almost went back into his hands. Caleb Woods is having a fantastic game. Already at seven receptions. Really wobbly ball there for Stefan. Nobody's marking on the far side. Stefan looks to the back of the end zone for Josh Baptiste, who floats one over the head of Jared Johnson for seven yard touchdown. touchdown. Fourth trip to Tuttyville for the Billings Outlaws as they try to stop the bleeding here with 40 some seconds left in the half. Please set the game clock to one minute. It should be a media timeout the as well. During this extra point. One minute. Clock should not run during the extra point. There should be one minute here, and we see again, and I, I this might seem biased. If the Marshals were doing it, I'd be calling it respect as well. Up 27 nothing right now with a minute to go in the second quarter, and they're still going for three, not yeah. using their extra point taker. You know, you roster a kicker, right? But maybe got a little point to prove here. Trying to build a cushion. Maybe they're just trying to test some things out for the playoffs, see what they can run and work, and see what does happen here. Stefan drops back, slings to the back of the end zone, is bobbled in and out of the hands. First incompletion there, a drop, I would say, for Caleb Woods. So, pitching a near perfect one game. It's Caleb Woods and it fumbles that one. Billings Outlaws 27, Rapid City Marshalls 0. One minute media timeout. Marshalls going to come back out where they're going to have a minute to drive and then get the ball to half. We'll be right back, guys.
Coors Light Chill Cam. Partner here with the Rapid City Marshals. So, Perry, Billy Perry back there with the kickoff as well. Again. Targeted towards Kyle Mitchell. And out of bounds. Out of bounds. It's a weird hop there, but. Field out. On the seven yard line they're going to give him, so. Got to imagine, Perry might be hurt with the way he's not driving the ball, right? And, and they're not taking extra points. Yep. Something has to be there. So, considering what was last week, we are kind of calling one of the best games in the CIF all year long. I think we had a similar game earlier in the year with the Bandits and Outlaws as well coming down. And, and, and last week as well, the, the Bandits had a walk-off touchdown against Gillette. So here we are, we have one minute. Rapid City Marshals get the ball after halftime. So, two touchdown scores could put this game back in order. Burr's alone in the backfield, feels the snap. Low on snap. A low snap. He has Chisholm. Scrambles, throws to Cromie. Cromie, big completion, bounces off Jefferson. Still on his feet, to Cromie. He's eventually wrapped up from Francis and, and Jeff and Stewart is pushing a shoving breaks out here. Referees have got to get this under control. And a flag is tossed. Whistles were blown for several seconds, yep. and then Cromie got German suplexed yep. afterwards. From, from Francis. So, got to imagine something happens here. Shea Roberts is very big, and the official is pushing him away. Got to imagine this could be calls on both sides. This coach Sean King's out there trying to wrangle his group in. So, we're going to try and uh, guesstimate on how far this throw was, though. Talk yep. about the good thing for Cromie there. So, from about the seven yard line all the way down to the other six yard line. So 37 yard as uh, everybody waited there patiently for me to count on my yep. fingers and toes how many yards that was, but fantastic there for Cromie, 37 yards. Whole brawl broke out at the end of the play there, as you guys saw. You're going to have to anticipate both teams are going to receive penalties After there that the should play, offset. Dead ball, personal foul, number 21 of the defense. Stewart. Dead ball, personal foul, number 11 of the offense. Those fouls offset, result of the play, first down. Although the fans are, are booing here and everything, realistically, we're on the six yard line. The ball would only move up to the three, and we'd only get half the distance to the yep. goal line. Feels like they got the wrong player, though. It was Damian Francis who did do the German suplex on Cromie. Technique was flawless, though, if we're talking about it, though. Yep. You know, Kurt Angle would be uh, very proud and impressed. Brock Lesnar would have, have been ecstatic there. Talking about South Dakota, even though he doesn't really claim South Dakota's state. Yeah, Webster kid, though. Well, Webster guy claims Minnesota. So first and goal from the sixth. Marshall's got 48 seconds to play with. Just get in that end Cromie zone. the motion man handoff is to Chisholm. Chisholm bounces inside for a gain of about two. Yeah, and he's met instantly. Looks like we've got 42. Who is not on our roster. That's fantastic. That's great to have accurate rosters and numbers out there. If you know who 42 is in the chat, that would be lovely. Yeah, gonna guess that. Might be Joshua Frazier. Could be. After yeah, play. Guys. Unsportsmanlike conduct, number one of the defense. Kendall Jefferson there, the culprit. Goal, automatic, first down. So, gonna be a two yard gain there for Chisholm, and then a two yard gain on the unsportsmanlike conduct. Clock stops as well, 38 seconds, and it's an automatic first down. They've got four plays to get a first down. You run this ball up the middle no matter what. You do not stop running this ball up the middle until you get a touchdown because yep. you want to at least drain clock and just gain positive yards. Bird keeps it himself, scrambles, bounces, bounces. Is still met in the back. Yes. Attack for number eight. Jamario Benson. And quarterback Jamario Benson. Yep. No. Yeah. Whistles. Yeah. Plus it's their first of the half. Timeout is called from the Marshals. Lineman Jude Simpson, uh, Sampson was also there for the tackle as well. Second down from the two yard line. Got some uh, Disney Lion King music playing right here. Very interesting. Can you feel the love tonight? 
DJ kind of, uh, you know, trying hey, to, he might be in his feels. Trying to put some, we'll just try to put some humor out there because we're having unsportsmanlike conduct, and he's like, yeah, we just feel some love tonight. I will say this though, even though there's been three unsportsmanlike conducts already called, this game is not even near as chippy as last week with the score. Oh storm. yes, there was a brawl about every other play. Like 42 is Elias Harris. I'm not that guy on our roster. Roberts keeps it himself for the QB sneak, but stuffed. But well, he's still moving. Eventually, he's pushed in, but whistle's blown dead. It seemed a little premature there. It's either two Marshall, ways. Their second charge timeout. And now we're only four seconds left. I wonder what happened to those 38 seconds that went off the clock for these two plays that resulted in timeouts immediately afterwards. Clock operation is running a little wise fair scheme. Trying to get to their Sunday night tomorrow. Yeah. Good Sunday night as a lot, a lot of graduations are tomorrow. So congrats to all those kids graduating. And today as well. Four seconds. Where does time go? You know, it just flies here, and, and, and it's not only in the CF, in the Rapid City Marshall's home game. For the we Summit, get we get games done quick. Our first half is always done within an hour, always. So Marshall's here, have one play to play with. This will be the last play of the half. Oh, false start! Someone moved early. I think it was Roberts. Saw the design play though. Bird did throw the ball. Might be something to keep an eye on for, for the Procedure. outlaws. Procedure, snap infraction on the center. You don't have to call it a legal penalty. procedure a snap infraction. We know what a false start Three is, but. Down. Clock operator, please reset the game clock to four seconds. Call it a four seconds. So there we are. We're gonna be sitting at the last play of the game, or last play of the half, seven yep. yard line, gives the marshal some Correction, room to move. third down. Gives the, gives the marshal some uh, wiggle room to have a pass attempt if they want to. Yep. Dante Dudley calls his third timeout. Potentially. Something's underway here. Nope, nope, no timeout is called. Kevin Chisholm lined up. Really in a weird spot. He's going parallel to everybody. They snap Bird, scrambles, feels the heat, still on his feet. Throws it back, Enzo for a touchdown! Shay Roberts! Keep it moving, big boy! Good design play. It's Shay Roberts, that's his, that's his second actual touchdown for the Rapid City Marshals. Yeah, offensive lineman, and, 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 and he's able to just make some big moves out there. Talk about the athleticism. Not only did he do that, but then he ran a whole 50 yards back to put that ball in the, his own his own area. Rapid City Marshall's going for two here, just kind of wanting to get points. I'm surprised that they're actually not going to try an extra point attempt just because the the efficiency rating is probably about the same that it would be for us kicking. Yep, but going for two. Get a little something on the board here. A little, little eight points would be nice going into the half. Push out Kevin Chisholm. Oh, high snap. He might get an opportunity. Chisholm has Chisholm it. Chisholm just falls on it and just gives himself up. So, go to the end of the half down. Rapid Marshall's down 27-6 to six to the Billings Outlaws. Billings Outlaws fighting for a home playoff bid. Rapid City Marshall's fighting that for the, the first, first win of the half. season. As we step away for halftime. Six Marshalls, 27 Outlaws. We'll be back here after a fast 20 minutes. When it comes to barbecue, keep it simple. Meat, spice, smoke, and nobody knows that better than the pitmasters at Maple Street Barbecue in Rapid City. Maple Street Barbecue serves up mouth-watering, fall-off-the-bone platters that'll make you want to stick your head in the smoker. Please, don't stick your head in the smoker.
With barbecue from around the country, you're going to want to stop by the Rushmore Mall and taste true American barbecue at family-owned and operated Maple Street Barbecue. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or lease, call me, Shay Matkins, at Matkins Real Estate to find your new home. Performance Vision Training Center pairs with Vision Source to help athletes grow. The professionals at the training center believe that the eyes lead the body, and their skills paired with technology like synaptic screen training and synaptic strobe glasses help these athletes. Come on in and train like the pros with Dr. Pearson. The Performance Vision Training Center helps athletes react faster, improve accuracy, and advance their skills. Proud partners with the Rapid City Marshals. No, 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 not right now. Not right now. Don't do this to me. I'm late. Come on, baby. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, go f figure. You want to break down right now. When your vehicle doesn't run, your whole world comes to a halt. At Wicked Wrenches, they understand. They have the experience, exceptional service, and affordable prices to help you get your life back. I mean, it never f fails. Wicked Wrenches, taking the f out of your daily commute. Omaha at second. Click wicked-wrenches.com. When it comes to barbecue, keep it simple. Meat, spice, smoke, and nobody knows that better than the pitmasters at Maple Street Barbecue in Rapid City. Maple Street Barbecue serves up mouth-watering, fall-off-the-bone platters that'll make you want to stick your head in the smoker. Please, don't stick your head in the smoker.
With barbecue from around the country, you're going to want to stop by the Rushmore Mall and taste true American barbecue at family-owned and operated Maple Street Barbecue. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or lease, call me, Shay Matkins, at Matkins Real Estate to find your new home. Performance Vision Training Center pairs with Vision Source to help athletes grow. The professionals at the training center believe that the eyes lead the body, and their skills paired with technology like synaptic screen training and synaptic strobe glasses help these athletes. Come on in and train like the pros with Dr. Pearson. The Performance Vision Training Center helps athletes react faster, improve accuracy, and advance their skills. Proud partners with the Rapid City Marshals. No, 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 not right now. Not right now. Don't do this to me. I'm late. Come on, baby. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, go f figure. You want to break down right now. When your vehicle doesn't run, your whole world comes to a halt. At Wicked Wrenches, they understand. They have the experience, exceptional service, and affordable prices to help you get your life back. I mean, it never f fails. Wicked Wrenches, taking the f out of your daily commute. Omaha at second. Click wicked-wrenches.com. When it comes to barbecue, keep it simple. Meat, spice, smoke, and nobody knows that better than the pitmasters at Maple Street Barbecue in Rapid City. Maple Street Barbecue serves up mouth-watering, fall-off-the-bone platters that'll make you want to stick your head in the smoker. Please, don't stick your head in the smoker.
With barbecue from around the country, you're going to want to stop by the Rushmore Mall and taste true American barbecue at family-owned and operated Maple Street Barbecue. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or lease, call me, Shay Matkins, at Matkins Real Estate to find your new home. Performance Vision Training Center pairs with Vision Source to help athletes grow. The professionals at the training center believe that the eyes lead the body, and their skills paired with technology like synaptic screen training and synaptic strobe glasses help these athletes. Come on in and train like the pros with Dr. Pearson. The Performance Vision Training Center helps athletes react faster, improve accuracy, and advance their skills. Proud partners with the Rapid City Marshals. No, 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 not right now. Not right now. Don't do this to me. I'm late. Come on, baby. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, go f figure. You want to break down right f now. When your vehicle doesn't run, your whole world comes to a halt. At Wicked Wrenches, they understand. They have the experience, exceptional service, and affordable prices to help you get your life back. And it never f fails. Wicked Wrenches, taking the f out of your daily commute. Omaha at second. Click wicked-wrenches.com. When it comes to barbecue, keep it simple. Meat, spice, smoke, and nobody knows that better than the pitmasters at Maple Street Barbecue in Rapid City. Maple Street Barbecue serves up mouth-watering, fall-off-the-bone platters that'll make you want to stick your head in the smoker. Please, don't stick your head in the smoker.
With barbecue from around the country, you're going to want to stop by the Rushmore Mall and taste true American barbecue at family-owned and operated Maple Street Barbecue. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or lease, call me, Shay Matkins, at Matkins Real Estate to find your new home. Performance Vision Training Center pairs with Vision Source to help athletes grow. The professionals at the training center believe that the eyes lead the body, and their skills paired with technology like synaptic screen training and synaptic strobe glasses help these athletes. Come on in and train like the pros with Dr. Pearson. The Performance Vision Training Center helps athletes react faster, improve accuracy, and advance their skills. Proud partners with the Rapid City Marshals. No, 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 not right now. Not right now. Don't do this to me. I'm late. Come on, baby. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, go f figure. You want to break down right now. When your vehicle doesn't run, your whole world comes to a halt. At Wicked Wrenches, they understand. They have the experience, exceptional service, and affordable prices to help you get your life back. And it never f fails. Wicked Wrenches, taking the f out of your daily commute. Omaha at second. Click wicked-wrenches.com. When it comes to barbecue, keep it simple. Meat, spice, smoke, and nobody knows that better than the pitmasters at Maple Street Barbecue.
as we welcome you back here to the beautiful Summit Arena at the Monument in beautiful downtown Rapid City from Perry's kick to Chisholm's hands. Chisholm set to return deep, got it all the way to the opposition's 20-yard line. Kevin Chisholm is an electric cracker to touch the ball. Last time we saw the Marshals, they scored a touchdown, Jay Roberts. Yeah, and we're gonna have a nice 22-yard return there for, or 23-yard return there for Kevin Chisholm. Tail the tape here. Billings Outlaws offense is looking hot. Passing the ball more than they've ever passed all year. Didn't really be finding success, success with Caleb Woods who has a hat trick of touchdowns. Yeah, we are back now. Welcome on in fans. Ma massive play there. Let's see if momentum can carry here and we have Joshua Murray in the backfield, first time of this game as well. Ran the ball a lot last week. Bird ditches the gloves, rocking the bare hands look as he runs it himself for a gain of about seven or eight tackled from Demario Benson, Demario Benson and number 47. Rashad Powell Sr. Gonna move him up in an interesting spot. Okay, there we go, the referee moved the back. Seven yard gain there. I thought they were only gonna give him five and I was like, he clearly passed the 15. So it's going to be a seven yard run there, despite if you are hearing anything uh, from anybody else. Seven yards. Second down and three. Referees are having a, the line judge on one side is giving it to their, there we go. There we go. Coach of the Outlaws was trying to get it pulled back two yards because that's where the pylon was, but no success there four man offensive line again second and three to go from the 13. bird hands off to murray murray bounces outside still on his feet but it's eventually gang tackle there for number one kendall jefferson for the tfl gonna be a loss of five yards there as well and the rapid city marshals players were seeing one some of the problems is their second movement is lateral yeah. they are not pushing straight down the straight down the line he had a situation where probably is a, a no game if he just heads right into that linebacker trying to cut outside spins him around lots of more yards out there trying to be play hero ball now it was a nice second and three has turned in to a third and eight Bird keeps himself, still scrambling. Gets that first down, it's not hard though from Francis. He's gonna get but seven But move yards. those sticks. Damian Francis there with the fifth solo tackle as we move into first and goal. Damian Francis kinda got made a fool there and everything. I'm not trying to like dog on any player or anything, but Waheem Bird was three yards past the line pump faking. He was at the 15, line yeah. scrimmage was at, back at the, at the 18. Uh, so fantastic creativity there. I was really nervous getting chased from behind. Good job from Berg. Yep. Maybe taking off those gloves is that, you know, he doesn't feel comfortable, felt restricted. So first and goal from the 10. Still the four man, Chromie the motion man. Fake the handoff to Chromie as Josh Murray dumps all the way to the one yard line, but a flag will likely put this thing back. We had number one there, Kendall Jefferson with the tackle as well. Let's see if this play stands as called. We're gonna have a nine yard gain. He's talking to Dudley about this, so it might be seeing if he's gonna accept or decline this. No reason to accept it if, because uh, you're already on the one yard line. Defense. Uh, Linebacker lined up less than Legal defense. Yards. There we that go. We haven't seen it this whole game. I thought they were gonna do down. it, but no, nah, it, it proceeds. The most common foul in the CIF. Is a legal defense by the linebacker, not knowing where the to line up. on the 10, line up on the five, the biggest markers you got out there. So massive nine yard gain there for Murray. Second down and goal from the one yard line. Let's see if uh, maybe they get creative and just uh, hand this back off to Shea Roberts to push through. You've got to go forward though. Yep. You can't cut outside. Just go right at him. Bird keeps it himself, able to Punched waltz in. in. For the RFC Marshall touchdown, Waheem Bird keeps stacking them up. Two drives, two touchdowns. Waheem Bird throwing and rushing for him. 
Weinberg throws that ball in the stands. Upper deck, nobody catches it. Yeah, we can't sit here and say he doesn't have an arm or anything. But 20, 27 to 12 now. You know, you blinked about 40 seconds ago in the first half. It was 27 to zero. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Los Angeles Chargers fan. I've experienced a 27 0 victory or a 27 0 advance. It's 27 to zero. Yeah. So, you know, don't want to call it too soon, but. Going for two here, just trying to get points on the board, probably the, yep. the most common thing. Surprisingly, not going for three as it gives you a little more options there from the five, but. Here we go from the two yard line. Bird keeps himself. Can't quite. Got it. Oh, snuck in. Waheem Bird. <laughs> Count it. Point after attempt. Damian Francis is upset on that play call. And I would be too. You had Waheem Bird dead to right. He snuck in there. He's not the biggest guy. He Heck is, of a he play. Is, he's undersized compared to everybody trying to tackle him. And you see. We have number seven right there. Francis missed the tackle, slid right off of him at his hips. And what was a 27 point game? You're right. We we rewind this game, not counting halftime. And let's, let's pretend that didn't happen. We just forget halftime. Six minutes ago, it was 27 0. Yep. Apple City Marshall's building momentum. This is exactly what we need, you know. Don't want to say it yet. But let's right? we have to be we have to be real though. The Outlaws had, had four consecutive drives yeah. of scoring touchdowns. Yeah. Uh, they have to stop Caleb Woods. What can we do to get the ball out of number 18's hands? I know he's a receiver, but when he's accounted for three of the touchdowns, right? You have to figure out something. Because the last time he caught the ball, he split the seams. Of the Rams Marshall defense for the complete catch. Yeah, three touchdowns and seven receptions already for him as well. as the, the favorite target of uh, Stefan. And we have defensive lineman Robert Hoyle with the kick again. Yep, big Has old. not kicked since the opening kickoff when he sent it 41 yards. Big Robert Hoyle set jo to do the kick in here. Josh, a pair of Josh's back there, and Batiste and Best. Ball squibbed right out of bounds. Split sting on the 25 as the tee went farther than the ball. But ball goes to the 25-yard line. No harm, no foul. Dante Dudley's favorite Dante Dudley's favorite First positioning down. for uh, a starting position is 25-yard line. Less chance of getting beat deep. If you're an offense, though, gives you yep. full open playbook. Micah, I'm going to tell you right now, it might be because we don't have uh, Anton here, but uh, it is very interesting that this team is not running the ball more. Yeah. Batiste, obviously, pretty solid running back. Only seven rushing attempts in the first half. Yeah. Kind of a flip-flop from what we usually know here. But Lorenz Stefan sets the throw again. Looking for Caleb Woods again. Spins out of one, out of two. Tackled from Derek Dyer, but... Once again, Caleb Woods has been the X Factor. 20 yard reception there. Tackled from Dyer. Once again, it's kind of proving that whatever, whatever Caleb Woods does, it is an absolute electric factory. Scoring his first touchdown of the CIF in a CIF career in the first half seems to be in a magnet. As Stefan drops back, looks for the back of the end zone, batted. Target man was, guess who? Caleb Woods, a batted. It's Derek Dyer. Derek Dyer got up for that ball right yep. there. But once again, right? Keep going to that well for Caleb Woods. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Caleb Woods has been the man. Yeah, Caleb Woods has eight receptions for 110 yards already and three touchdowns. And the second half has literally just started. That is that is that is one of the best days that any receiver could have. Yeah. And he still has a whole half to play. He's with. putting up Randy Moss type of numbers on Thanksgiving, right? Foe well, for foe. Well, not quite. Well, uh, <laughs> nobody could do that, but still, right? They're disparate, apparently similar. Second down and goal from the five yard line. Stefan here. Expect a run, but no. Oh, passes Stefan, jumps across to Chris Lewis for the Billings Outlaw touchdown. That's big time Chris Lewis. 
as he dances right in front of the Marshalls bench. So, once again, right, keep going to that well for passing. Fifth passing touchdown. Coming in, ranked last on passing, total offense, the total passing offense. Absolutely dispelling those rumors that it, it was bad. Going for three here, up big. Yeah, they are currently up 19 points, going for three to put it at a 22-point range. Yeah, miscommunication on the coverage there as we're watching. He just ran right across the right across the, the whole goal line and nobody even knew yeah. what was happening. It's kind of like, a, a, we call that a little a little leak play, right? Two in motion. He's going to have the back of the end zone. Dumps deep for a wheel route caught by Josh Batiste. Three-point conversion is good. 36 to 14 with 7.26 left in the third quarter. That is Bartista's second uh, a, a extra point reception there as well. So 36-14, a 22-point game. Still closer than it was before uh, before the end of the half. Seven and a half minutes left in here. This Outlaws team is doing whatever they want to the DB. And, yep. and we're seeing the the loss of defensive backs here for the City Marshals. We see this when the, this all season. Let's talk about the story of the Marshals, okay? Yep. When they go through a, a loss of you know quarterbacks, the next game they have with the, the third guy, fourth guy, they're sitting here at like three of 14 completions. Then they go through where they, they get rid of you know all their playmakers. They only put up 12 or seven points. Then they get rid of their defensive line, get no pressures for two games, get rid of all their DBs. Now they're letting this passing yardage yep. go. We have moments, Jefferson City Marshals have moments of true brilliance. Right? Just have not tied it all together, right? That's kind of the, the not the difference, right? But you saw it last year. The Gillette Mustangs had a, like, a really solid player at Tobias Taylor. No longer with the team. Now, Gillette Mustangs are up there for second and third in the entire league, right? That's one year turnaround. Rapid City Marshall's coming in with growth. A little step back from, from season one, right? Tamper expectations. There but is a they lot have of, to make that jump. And there's a lot of positivity of players that could be returning. Uh, yep. Joshua Murray back there to return from about the Field six on the yard hop. line. Bounces outside of one, eventually tackled from Benson and Francis. To be honest, he shouldn't have been able to get anything there. Yeah. So the fact that he was able to get something, just a simple three yards right there. Timeout, media timeout. Interesting time for a media timeout with 7.18 left. I don't expect it to go too long. So. Let's talk about the momentum of the Rapid City Marshals. Two straight drives, two touchdowns as well. Have had, both have had big plays, you know, that have kind of pushed everything through from uh, a, a nice little run from Bird versus a, a catch from Chromie on the drive yep. before. The DBs are giving a lot of space and a lot of comfort here. But they are pressing through. This offensive line for the Marshals has yeah. been solid for most of the year. They don't give up a lot of sacks at all. Yeah, uh, kind of the, allowing 22 sacks on the year is not necessarily low, but, right, given the circumstances of a revolving door at quarterback, right, revolving door of different linemen. But Billings Outlaws sacked 17 times all year. That's a lot of sacks. They have two guys in the, in the top eight in sacks. One guy that is active tonight, that is uh, Victor Martinelli, he is number eight in sacks. And he got hurt earlier in the game, so, right? Trying to capitalize on the injuries. Not playing Anthony, right? We don't, we don't really know about Canary's Anthony's uh, whereabouts. So, trying to tie this ball game together, right? Score quick here, make things interesting for the fourth quarter. He'll have something to play for. I'm trying to avoid going completely defeated on the year. 42 Ellis Parr out there. Bird keeps it himself, bounces outside, is tackled from Benson after a gain of about five. Yeah, good four yards there as well. Again, for right, him. keeping Bird, keeping that ball in his hands. A lot of rushing attempts as well right now. What we're seeing over the Marshals is they've got to have a follow up. It has to be a domino effect, it has to be back to back good plays. They can't let drive stall because they have a good play and then they get a tackle for a loss right here in the news yard. I'm surprised that they're not attacking the middle. I don't know if they're you know, not wanting to go right at Jude Sampson. You know, linebacker, defensive back, you know, Devontae Brown in the middle, but they're really avoiding them. Attacking the perimeter as Bird looks Fakes. to throw deep. Has Kemp Chisholm open. 
for a Marshall touchdown! Waheem Bird to Kevin Chisholm. Dial up the touchdown. 30, uh, sorry, 37 yard touchdown right there. Deep bomb. Visit the Tugville. And we did see, uh, you know, defensive back Kendall Jefferson kind of asking for offensive pass interference right yeah. there. I think he just tripped up. I think he just stumbled. That Bad is the man to stumble against. Back to back weeks. Big time touchdowns for Kevin yep. Chisholm in the exact same spot. Talk about it though. You, the, the Marshals are running to set up the pass. Everybody thought they were, you know, going to be running there. Yep. We just talked about this right after that last touchdown. Bird launched that ball yep. 40, 50 yards. And that's credit to good play calling, right? 20 to 36. The Marshals are going for three here. Some linemen aren't ready. Yeah, Shea As Roberts. Bird floats one over the head of Josh Murray. This, you know, this is where we start to see. Wayne Bird is not a quarterback at heart. He's not quarterback by nature. He will make a good throw. You saw it in the touchdown pass, but over, overthrows the wheel route from Josh Murray. Positive note, last game, the last time these two teams met, the Billings Outlaws came with a victory, 49 to 18. Marshall's two points ahead of that already yep. with Beat plenty of time left to go. And they are currently at their points per game right now of 20. Uh, they improved that, you know, last week by scoring in the 30s, pulling it up from a low 18 to now a high 20. Game continues. They're going to finish with a higher, you know, points per game than they yep. have for the past. Don't want to say we're back in this, but a turnover would be nice for FC Marshalls. But if you, if you keep feeding the dog, that is Caleb Woods. Keep feeding the dog, that is Chris Lewis. Good things tend to happen, you know. I'm going to say right now, though, a fourth down stop. Yeah, that is, would be nice. It's more than enough. Yep. But, you know, you start starting to see, especially for the, you know, broadcasters who are more familiar with Billings Outlaws, this is, this is probably a, a new Billings Outlaws team. This is a new look, averaging the lowest in passing attempts and now finding success. This team comes in eighth in the league in, in passing yards per game at 82.6, and we've already talked about it that yeah. Woods himself has more receiving yards yep. than that. Big Hoyle with the and kick and his squib. Way out to the lower bowl. But we got to talk about it here. That T stayed in place. Yep. The T, yeah. It's Coach called progress, Robert. Robert. There we go. Big Robert Hoyle, big Southern guy, too. Gives good uh, good talk, good stories, too, if you are uh, Marshall Faithful. Even big if you're, Southern guy from Georgia. Even if you're not, just being, just being a human, like a sports fan yourself, go check out the Rapid City Marshalls on Facebook. You can scroll down to videos. You can see Robert Hoyle talk about his story yeah. uh, to some people. It is fantastic and a really you know, good-hearted guy that's just out there to kind of do what he can do. Yep. Daniel Bice, got name you haven't called too much, kind of allowed that three-point play to go through, not being able to reach for it, and he kind of beat himself up about it. Let's see if he can come out and make an impact here and get to this quarterback. Stefan dumps off to Woods. Woods able to continue to wreak havoc as he sneaks through, but the ball is whistled too quick as Tariq Bousset forces the fumble. And but that that whistle came through as Woods really was quick. still pushing himself forward. He was in the process of gaining yardage right yep. there. So three yard gain for him. Not saying like, you know, hey, all oh, the marshals have got that oh, ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that yeah. was really quick though. Because we look at the placement, he received that ball a yard back. Yep. And he gained four yards after catching it. And the whistle was blown. Yep. The reps are quick with the whistle tonight here. You know, saw it with the, with, with the push on the goal line here. It could be a safety situation. Yep. And we're going to have Kerr out in coverage. Stefan drops back. Looks over the middle for Caleb Woods. Who slipped Who up. slipped. Coverage there from Josh Murray. He's also a little slow to get up. A little seemed to be a little, a little wet. Turf down there. I'm going to say this, though. Even though he slipped up, that ball was overthrown still yeah. as well. Um, I, I think that Woods kind of saw that he was hitting that post route going right to the corner of the end zone and the ball kind of traveled to the back of the end zone there's no way to adjust it when you're going full throttle there one direction if you do make that full throttle cut and switch up so we see guys take their acls yep third down and seven to go right coming to the territory of a fourth down stop would be nice marshall's in communication right now they've got to pay attention to what's going on Stefan looks back. Daniel Bice picked up. Big man interception. Daniel Bice still on his feet running. 
No whistle has been made. It was a turn to the 23. Daniel Bison coverage on the wheel route. And let's mark that down right there. Daniel Bice had a 28 yard return on that defensive lineman. Oh, you wanted an interception and you got an interception yeah. from the almost unlikely of heroes. The play is under review to see if the player after the interception was contacted into the wall. Okay, Official was contacted review. into the wall. He did hit the wall. Let's see if the ruling's a little different. We'll see what we had here. We had this in the first half as well with the interception, but it is going to be an interception nonetheless. Yep. What did I just say? I am a guru out here. I said Daniel Bice got beat on that pass because he didn't reach up enough. And let's talk about this right here. If, if we, the highlight, you guys just now are watching it with some, some highlights and everything. As he was running, he turned around. Defensive yeah. backs sometimes don't even do that. The most unlikely of heroes. We'll kind of step aside here as you guys can watch a, a cupcake eating contest here by Cupcakes and Smith. So let's step back. We see competitor number B here trying to finish this cupcake <laughs> as fast as he can. Competitor number, number one over here is struggling to get it down. An expert over there versus a rookie. And he finished, and she's just kind of holding on to the cupcake. Probably not the look that she's going to want. Let's go, Marshalls. Thank you, Wyatt Turf. Still, let's give some credit there and talk about this for a second. Uh, local cupcake shop, gluten-free cupcakes. If I didn't tell you that right now, you would never know for the rest of your life you have them. They are delicious. After the review, after the interception, the intercepting team was contacted on the goal line while touching the sideline. Therefore, the result of the play is a touchback. First down, Marshalls. So, some booing happening here. I don't know why people shouldn't be booing. I get it that we're not where we want to be in place wise, but Daniel Bice just delivered the defensive play of the year. Yeah. He is. He Big is, man on a wheel we're out covering. He's a massive man out there. He is very tall. He's got muscle. He, he normally is super strong and can get into the defensive, you know, push through the, the offensive line and get into the pressure, backfield. Yep. Here he is in coverage. Bird. Hands off to Chisholm, and Chisholm is met hard. Josh number 71, Josh Frazier. First time we've called Frazier's name all night. Three yard loss there. Yeah, but the TFL. So, you know, good, good thing swings Marshall's way. Now immediately met with a three yard loss. So now you have to capitalize on what they give you. Outlaws. Touchdown here. Go ahead, go ahead. one score. I was gonna say, Outlaws already with five tackle for losses. Uh, a high number. Yeah. And if you meet this, right, the entire year of, you can score up to 10 points per touchdown. More, more without within this. As Bird scrambles outside, dumps off to Cromie. Cromie at least gets some positive yards tackled from Kendall Jefferson. Yeah, gonna give him 10 yards there for Cromie. Yep. Second catch of the day. He's moving this to third and short. Cromie's been a good plug and play here for the Mar Rhapsody Marshals coming to the end of the year, uh, at the end of their year. Waheem Bird, four consecutive completions as well. So third down and three to go from the 12 yard line, have to get to the 15. If I'm the Marshals, I'm staying in the air. Yep. Seems to kind of be working as long as Bird puts it in the basket. Bird keeps himself, actually throws off, overshot. Overthrows Nathan Cromie as he takes a shot from Rashawn Stewart on the sideline. Wide open. Uh, Kevin Chisholm wide open on the left side as well. Bird not being able to look for a second look and see his, uh, his, his check down. Play broke down, had to evade the pocket right away though. These Rapid City Marshals have got to trust themselves in the air a little bit more though. That is the commentator's curse, right? Four consecutive completions. Yeah. Shea Roberts, funnily enough, will be line up at receiver. Told us that they got some wrinkles marked, uh, mixed in for him. As Bird throws intercepted for a pick six. 
number nine, Devontae Brown with the 14-yard play, but a penalty is down. Let's, let's try to get brought back. Holding. Nope. 70 of the offense. The penalty's declined. The result of the play, touchdown. Not what you want to see. An interception right there. Not, yep. not good. And yeah, just as we mentioned, right? Something goes good, and then something goes horribly bad. Just trying to connect the dots to this sport with a minute 10 left in the ball game. Billings Outlaws up 42. The 20 over City Marshalls attempting to go for three here to extend that lead to 25. You got an 18-yard return there on the interception as well. He had a guy there, but unfortunately for him, he was red. And Brown came straight through, took it straight to the house. What was so positive is uh, as deflated this crowd. They're on military appreciation night. So three-point attempt, expect another throw as well. Ooh, very fortunate Stephon for that. Stephon still keeps it, looks at the back of the end zone, is caught for the completion from Isaiah Grice. So, 45 to 20 as the clock continues to click here. Do you know if this clock should be running, but it is. Eventually stopped at 34 seconds, but still, right? Billings Outlaws are finding success on offense. Even with the minor mishap, they're finding success on third, uh, on three-point attempts. They're finding success through Caleb Woods. Right now, he's drawing more attention. This now allows players like Bryce or Lewis. Even though the Rapid City Marshall are having some success running the ball, I mean, the defensive line from the Outlaws has been fantastic tonight. Yep. Um, from, uh, from Parr, Powell Sr., we see Frazier, Sampson. Everybody's been doing really well at attacking. Uh, Jeff Luck. Really not giving the Marshalls tons of time and room to run around. And we see Tucker and Cody kind of switch sides here as well on the second line. Murray and Chisholm out there. Murray back after limping off on yep. a pass breakup a couple plays ago. Yep, good to see Josh Murray back out there. Now a 25-point game. See and how Joaquin Bird and the offense shake this one off. Rapid City Marshall's running out of time here tonight. Yep. To the left, the old William Perry sets a kick here. Number and 11, does. Number 11 for the Rapid City Marshals is the uh, com comments in here is uh, Shea Roberts, offensive lineman. Yep. Big Shea Roberts. Spent some time down in Mexico as well, playing in yep. the Mexican League. Uh, has that tryouts a lot of places, plays in the IFL as well. And, yeah. Uh, he's, in, he in the he is the prototypical size, right? If you're imagining an offensive lineman, probably picturing about 6'4", about 315. Your guard, yeah, you're, you're nice, nice left guard for you. But he's able to move and catch some passes as well. Ball bounces out, not exactly what you want if you're the Marshals, because now the ball's at the 13-yard line. Cody could have got that. He easily had 10 yards to the 25 probably could have got. So first and goal here, the first and 10 here, sorry, from the 13. Yep. Wahim Bird operating alone in the backfield. Roberts backed out there, offensive line on the right side. Bird gets the snap. He looks has to Chisholm throw deep, space. has Murray open, but it's broken up from Tamario Benson. Uh, very interesting call there. Benson had it, the ball hit his back and he pushed Murray that away. At the end of the third quarter. He didn't, he, he didn't get I'm a turn not, around. Saying, yeah, yeah. But he, he prevented Murray from making a, a play on the ball. Yep. But that at the end of three there. As the Rapsi Marshals are down, 45 to 20. I'm going to take back what I said there and everything. He had good coverage. We saw his head turn around right there. Hard to see in this angle, but Outlaws are really happy and celebrating. We're going to step away as the kiss cam happens. 45 20.
Come on, Rapid City. We can do it. Here, down, 25. Bird gets the snap, bobbled it briefly, throws across the middle, passes somehow caught by Nathan Gromey, and tackled by Benson. What a weird catch there. Nathan Gromey showing the softest hands in the league. Getting him a six-yard gain there as well. Probably should not have caught that. Yeah. But it'll be third and manageable here with Cromie with the miracle catch to bring it to third and five. Marshall's getting back on track here after back-to-back -back incompletions as well. Second down and four to go. Bird dumps off, tries to find Murray, but only finds the feet for an incompletion. No patience there is the big thing, not letting the whole play and everything develop itself. Might be credit to Ellis Parr, too. And Jude Sampson really creating some pressure up front, but still. The difference between a quarterback versus a wide receiver out there playing. Should be third down as well. I think it's fourth. Correct, it is fourth down yep. after the English pass. There you go. Fourth down here, fourth and five to go. Bird scrambles. Will keep it himself and is scooting to the sideline. He's eventually pushed out from Francis. But good first down pickup from the athlete playing quarterback. Eight yard Wayne gain Bird. there. Should have not been an eight yard yes. gain, but able to really extend it there. Wise on him to drag the defenders to the sidelines and then cut back inside a little bit. Yeah, apologies there for me uh, mistaking the down. I was thinking of like the third play of this quarter. Yep. Happens to the best of us. Here we go. So first Bird, and 10 from the Alone 24. in the backfield again. Kind of abandoning the whole run game early, right? Bird throws across the middle, but it spiked it. Target is McKinley Smith. Thrown short. It's uh, kind of a, I, I used this earlier, but it's a teeter-totter now of what's going on. You know, a really awesome evade and get a first down. And then an yeah. incompletion. And then a... Circus catch and then an incompletion. Bird. Plenty of time. Throws across the middle, but is picked off by Damian Francis. And Francis scoots to the 14 yard line for his second pick of the game with the return of a foul. We're going to watch the replay here and get this full yardage down to the 14 yard line. And just read him right there. He had two receivers open, trying to throw across his body. Oh my God. Looks like he caught it about at, at the 19 yard line. Return to the opposite 15. So we're gonna get about 17 yard return there for him. But yeah, just throwing across your body a little experience there. Not saying I wanna dismiss Bird and everything, uh, but I wonder if here in the fourth quarter, if maybe coach might make a little switch potentially, let Kyle Mitchell go. Bird is so electric as, as a runner though. Stefan throws to Lewis. Lewis bounces to the sideline, is pushed out from McKinley Smith. Seven yard gain there for number three. His fourth catch of the day, his biggest catch of the day as well. Yep. 18 receiving yards on four receptions. Second down and three to go. Seven yard line, gotta get to the four. Stefan keeps himself flipped off to big man. Number 79 for the touchdown. Kenneth Williams makes his deposit into the bank for the touchdown. It's a little celebration here, a little Frankenstein. But it's kind of stealing a playbook, a play from the Rep City Marshalls playbook with the Shea Roberts touchdown. They do their own big man celebration. They kind of actually, this, that's, they kind of had their walk-off touchdown in a situation like that yep. last week. We're seeing more teams incorporate that offensive lineman peeling out and just taking the risk. Yeah. Uh, doing it off an RPO as well. Yeah. Really get everybody moving. Kind of gets, kind of catches players. You pull off everybody. Guard. The defense runs right, trying to stop that run. Yep. Gets fooled. Pass the other way. It is 51 20, 20. This is getting out of hand fast. A three yard, three point attempt. 
and Stefan under center. Yep, saw the fade route last time and does just that to Caleb Woods. Oh, incomplete. Broken up from Derek Dyer. But this is the first touchdown of the game on a fade from under center to Caleb Woods. But Derek Dyer there with the PBU. And yes, the pass breakup there, and he almost caught it. If you rewatch this play, this is a poorly thrown ball thrown yeah, really behind underthrown. him. It's thrown behind him and lofted, so he has to turn around and make the catch. If he throws it how he's supposed to throw it, Dyer might pick that off, actually. Yeah. So his his poor throw resulted in a, in a almost... Attempt to catch, right? Yes. These outlaws are really pouring it on. Back-to-back -back interceptions. Really showing off offensively. Yeah, and already have outscored. Both teams outscored by two from the last result. The Marshals cannot settle for just losing every game and just being okay with it. Let's get out of here and everything. Move to next season. There's still 10 and a half minutes left. They've got to score some points. They've got to continue to give this crowd a reason to want to return. Yeah. And the new CIF was right. You can score 10 points per touchdown. Three touchdowns brings this ball game very, very, very interesting. You see, you see, you see teams score incredibly at will. And Stefan as well has six touchdowns, uh, which I mean he was number four in passing touchdowns coming into this game. I guarantee that moved him up. Yep. Uh, after this next media timeout, we will get that update for you guys. Kickoff is up. Billy Perry underway. First big time kick there. Ball was out of bounds and around the six yard line. We'll put this ball at the halfway point. At the 20 rather. I was about to oh, say his best. Bounds by rule, ball replaces 25, 25 yard line. Yeah, yeah so. automatic 25. First down. It, wasn't, it didn't touch it inside before it went out. I was about to say that was his best kick of the day because he actually kept it up. It, it yeah. got he distance. actually put his leg through it. And kicking from the left side, going all the way across. I know what they're trying to do, but personally, he should be lining up on the opposite side, the right side, and placing it diagonal that way to give himself yep. more power. At least the ability to open up his hip when he makes contact on that yep. kick. First down and 10 here from the 25 yard line. Bird is still out there. Gets the snap. He has Chisholm the in the heat. middle. Looks to keep himself is eventually tackled about the original line of scrimmage number five, Jeff Luton. Yeah, no gain there, so no tackle for loss. Every receiver was running away from him there. There's got to be some motivation get pumped in right here. I understand it's a losing effort right now. You're getting you're getting beat big. Yeah. There's got to be somebody rah rah hyping out there right now to push them to go. Let's see, they've been using Kevin Chisholm in check downs a lot. He's open right there in the middle. Looking deep for McKinley Smith. McKinley Smith makes Got the it. catch. Got it. The call is. Taking too long. McKinley the Smith call got is. Touchdown. touchdown, Rapid City Marshals. McKinley Smith got up for the high jump. Sticks the landing. Get in there, McKinley big guy. Smith actually got injured in that same spot last, last week. On the field is that the offense possessed. We the watched ball the replay here. Over the wall, touchdown. Way to go for him, and as he goes up, watch him catch this ball, go up, and both heels click that CIF as he rotates over. Yep. Landing on the back of his head, but he's out there and he's good to go. I'm holding up a card that says ten. And we're talking Ten. about Waheem Bird not having, you know, this accuracy in his arm. He makes plays. That is his third completion of over 25 yards. He makes plays. Marshall's going for a rare four-point play here. Right. As you were talking about earlier, 10 points on a touchdown can go here. Clock is ticking, though. <laughs> Don't know if the clock should be ticking, but, you know, it's moving. CIF rules on the clock are a random. Flip a, flip a coin. All right, we haven't seen the Marshalls go for four in a long time. Something to do here, right? Bird drops back, feels the heat, scrambles out of Ellis Parr, evades, evades, throws, Just keeps himself, bounces, and he's met at the... Count it! As the pushing and shoving happens, but Waheem Bird meets it, straight.
punches. And if you rewatch this replay here, as Bird breaks away, all three defensive linemen are chasing him. Justin Calderon took out the entire defensive line on one block. Watching the replay here, all three are chasing. Calderon prevents them all. Let's see if his knee goes down, though, as he stretches. Street. Oh, it's gonna be so close. Initial call was a. If if Bird was, uh, and as much as you want the replay guy here to like keep on the replay, he's just giving the opposing team more time to maybe call a challenge flag there. Yeah, as Damian Francis is up there looking at the play, but Justin Calderon seemed to have gotten into it too with the flag on the play here. But I imagine it's unsportsmanlike conduct with at the very Calderon pushing and shoving. At the very end of the play, uh, Calderon, I didn't see the number. Uh, I think it was five. I, th I think it was Luke. He was holding on to the face mask of Calderon, and Calderon was pushing yeah. him off, and he would not let go of his face mask. That is not that is the one dude I do not want to get in a fight with, Justin Calderon. No, uh, last year on an interception, uh, he picked up a guy and spine bustered him. A good old Arn Anderson Triple H spine buster. He dropped it. There's a call here. The ruling of the field is a successful four point count. It. Point. Ten point. Ten point. Oh, oh, man. Man. For a possible ejection on the play. Official review. Official review for a possible ejection on number. I think, I think it was five. It wasn't 50. I think, I think it was five. Be, it could have been both. I mean, in the situation, to be honest, a lot of times, some people do both. And we see number 50, Justin Calderon, talking to Kendall Jefferson there. Yeah. Kendall Jefferson, let's talk about this real quick for the Billings Outlaws. Anytime there's been something going on between Billings and the Marshalls, he's been pushing both sides away. He is trying to deflate everything. He's here to have fun. Yep. We're here to have fun too, Kendall. Now, if they're not going to re review the situation of that play, but just the... Yeah, count it. There, it counts it. That is a four-point rush. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. Waheem Bird just ran, not 10 yards. He just ran like 30 yards. Yep. Ran the length of the field both ways to make that play. As Calderon and Jeff Luke seem to hug it out here, right? They are sportsmen above everything, right? Yes. They will respect the heck out of each other. But Luke and Calderon are contemplating. But Je you know, just Calderon, he's a big boy. You know, he tried his hand at the NFL. He was invited to the Patriots minicamp, you know? Yeah. Worth something. 31 point difference now turned down to 21 just on a, a, a two minute drive there for the Marshals. Yep. And those watching, we got our Simba Cam here. I know we might be ruining the time of, of everybody's favorite Lion King Simba Cam. I don't advocate too much. Are we able to go check out clips or watch anything? You get a chance, go search uh, Guy's first time watching Lion King on TikTok, <laughs> and you'll get a good laugh. He ends up talking about his favorite characters in Mufasa early on, and uh, I'll just let you, those that have watched, just understand his pain that he went through that we all had to suffer through as kids growing yep. up. Lion King's a classic. Let's talk about two massive plays. 25 yard bomb into the corner of the end zone yep. by McKinley Smith, then a 10 yard four point play by Waheem Bird. Waheem Bird walking back with the, the kickoff tee. I think yep, the big got, thing for him is he, he's kicking it. he wants to be out there, I think, to make some tackles. Robert Hoyle's not walking out. Good sportsmanship here as Rashawn Stewart and Eddie Hamilton seem to be shaking this out. And they be laughing and dancing and singing just as Waheem Bird just can't wait to be king. Simba Cam is over here, but right, a lot of positivity moving forward. It's been a fun ball game, right? A lot of energy late. First half, we're probably a little worried, right? Probably a little worried, but this is good family fun here for the Rapid City Marshals here. As I am Mike Ortiz, he's Tyler Louder. Brought to you by the CIF and Mosaic MC. Yeah, we're, we're, we're your Mosaic MC guys here that bring you your play-by-play. -play. On top of that, make sure you guys check out Mosaic MC on all social media platforms as well, from YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Um, as after this game, we will be doing post-game interviews with two players or two people from the Outlaws and two people from yep. the Marshals. On top of that, Jacob Matkins, one of the best in the Midwest here, puts out highlights as well from this game. Almost like a, like a speed pass for the NFL, NFL game pass. We can yep. watch a game pass. You can watch an entire Mar uh, Marshalls game in, in 15 to 20 minutes as well, yep. which just highlights. So, a lot of good fun here. But, you know, a lot, lot of thanks to our uh, digital team. And, of course, you know, I'll let all the good folks let us do this.
This has uh, been a lot of fun all year as uh, we step away for the season. Long review here. It's interesting on the long review because I feel like they're trying, they're, they're trying to get the ejections so they're trying to find the camera angle of it. I feel like if you see somebody take a punch at somebody, you walk back out and you, you're done. Here we go. And official it shouldn't even call. be a reviewable thing. The official that was right there next to the line judge should have seen it. Let's go to him for what is happening. After review, the ruling of the field of a unsportsmanlike conduct, number five of the defense stands with an ejection of number five for a punch. The four point extra point is good. Woo, Tony. Jeff Luke, so he's done for the night with the, with the ejection with a punch, right? Yeah. And, and the unsportsmanlike conduct too is gonna add, they didn't talk about this, as soon as the, the outlaws have their kick return, 15 yards is gonna be added yeah. to that as well. So Wahim Burke could honestly kick this ball out right away. The 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 25 for the unsportsmanlike conduct will be a banked foul. Yep, and thank you. Forced on the next succeeding snap. Don't Just worry, as we, were, hey, we got it. Hey, we'll, we'll handle the broadcast, Mr. Official. We're taking care of it. We're letting everybody know. Um, uh, they're out here doing a great job, making sure they get everything right. Not the exact thing that you want to do, but, I mean, we're being honest. If, if, if you're Jeff Luke, you just, get to, you just get to get undressed seven minutes earlier than everybody else, really. Yeah. Uh, this game... Probably out of reach. Probably out of reach. I mean, what? we're looking at potentially stats is the only thing he's really missing out on uh, and everything. But. It might not be out of reach, though. City Marshall's momentum swing, yep. you know, them already being down, you know, uh, their leading tackler and now being down another defender here on All the right, D-line. Right. I'm going to try something new here. When these outlaws get into their huddle, I'm going to count to three, and I need every single person in this arena to make as much noise as they possibly can. So Wahim Bird is going to be taking the kick here after the ejection, after his massive run. And... Outlaws are maybe anticipating a bad kick because or maybe an onsider as well. They seem to be kind of approaching too. Yeah, their second line is staggered, but I've got to match this kick. Is onside is fielded. It's touched by the Rapid City Marshals. Here we go. This is it. Racine Stewart, the second, touched the ball. Rashawn fielded from who? Who touched that ball? Trevor Kerr? No, we got it. No, down here. Derek Dyer? Field it in. Here we go. This is the moment. Rep City Marshall Faithful have been looking for the entire year. And after what was the, the worst onside kick attempt last, last oh, week. Oh, it was horrible. Where they Walker. only went two yards. Wahim Burgess delivered a great one right down to his ankles. Wasn't able to do anything. And now they have the ball And back. the 15 yards. Move that thing up to the 25. Yeah, the 15 yards should be added to this at the very yeah, end. Yeah, they should be at the 23. Why are we yelling at the officials here? Coach Dudley trying to channel our. Yeah, here we go. He made someone just there found you out. Go. There we go. We got fans. They're talking about 15 yards is added to the end of the penalty. It is. It, it is a banked penalty. It'll be used no matter what. Yep. Here we go. Oh, uh, some discussion, and yep. he agreed. Move it. So not only do they get the onside kick recovery up to the 13-yard line, they should be getting a 15-yard addition as well. The onside kick was successfully recovered by Rapid City. The assessment for the 15-yard unsportsmanlike will be assessed. It'll be first and 10, Rapid City. And they should be brought down to the 22-yard line on the opposing way to go. Talk about a turn of events. And this is after having back-to-back -back drives ending on interceptions yep. and a pick six. 10 points can't score for each touchdown. They are down two touchdowns, well, although probably about two and a half, right? They are down at least three scores. That is, they are down three scores. But this game is, this game's just getting started here as the Marshall, Raptors and Marshalls have late life. Down Jeff Luke, forced to play some offensive linemen and Josh Fraser I on mean, the DL. With, with the Outlaws also rostering a, a, a kicker, I mean, they're down to, 19 guys that they can really use out here. Yep. 18, I guess, if you don't count the quarterback. Bird gets the play. snap, looks to throw, pass is caught by McKinley Smith. Right, Tackle for this. number nine, Devontae Brown. Yeah, it's going to be about a six-yard gain there as well for McKinley Smith as so we move the chains. Second and four coming on up. McKinley Smith with his third reception of the day. 
42 yards on three receptions and a massive touchdown. Well, again, alone in the back, the right have to pass this way on out as Bird drops he has back. Scrambles, throws, caught by Kevin, Kevin Chisholm, and will just kind of sacrifice his body there for a gain of about 10. Yeah, it's going to be a 10 yard First game. First goal, though. Move him. Right, the clock is ticking. Have to keep moving. The clock is ticking rightfully here, but have to keep pushing this pace. I'll tell you right now, Kevin Chisholm has ran that exact same route been open. multiple times, and he's been open. Fell down right there, but I think that's all right there. Kevin Chisholm he has breaks again. inside for a mess. Bird feels the heat, scrambles on his own, looks to run it in himself, and is pushed out of bounds. Number 71, Josh Frazier. But a gain of about three, so right, so keep making the positive plays. Have to keep this tempo up as the clock is ticking. You are running out of time, Rapid City Marshals. Yeah, already drawn about a minute and a half off this clock. This, the, the play call got in there real quick from Coach Dudley, and they're already going. No safeties out there, man yep. coverage. Bird probably keeping himself here. Linebacker Feels blitz. the heat, throws, passes his target to Josh Murray, but falls incomplete. Might be the best thing to happen, though. Francis in coverage, right? Kill the clock, right? Oh. Got to get used to those rules of every other football out there. Clock keeps running. Third on our last night, fair operation clock. Third down and three, though. Yep. From a third down and goal from the three. This will probably be a bird call up himself, right? Let your athlete scramble. Maybe another linebacker blitz here. Yep. Comes right Feel at the him. heat. Scrambles outside. He has it. Yo, you horse caller out, out at the back. You're not calling horse callers in CIF? As he tackled at, at the one from Francis and Sampson. We do have a penalty out here as well, though. Oh, be this might be the horse caller. No. On the Rapid City Marshals. Probably going to be a hold. Yep. Holding. Number 70 of the offense. Well, that's Noah Ten Smoltz. Yard penalty. Remains third down. The victim. Surprise! There was no horse collar called. Look at that! Look at, look at look at this replay. We could be living in a world where horse collar doesn't exist here. That's a dangerous world. Yeah, yeah. It is a very dangerous world. You see lots of injuries Scrambles, right there. Right. Feels the heat from Samson. That's as clear as day. And pulled straight back. Injury can happen. We see knees and ankles get shredded on those horse collars. You know, not not calling it quite the Dak Prescott injury, but Dak Prescott two years ago got tackled in a very similar position. And his ankle absolutely flipped the opposite ways. The clock, the clock continues is ticking. to run. 30 seconds have been run off after this penalty. <laughs> Interesting that the, that the clock doesn't stop considering the officials have to take time to talk and move and everything. Yeah. So third and goal from the 13. He has Chisholm. Bird scrambles and keeps it himself. Able to split the defense and get right back to where he initially was last stop for a rush. 11 yard gain. Yep, 11 to tackle from. Uh, Rashad Powell, senior, and number 71, Josh Frazier. Yeah, and kind of back in the same position. So fourth and goal from the two-yard line. I'm surprised that the Billing Outlaws, I think they're doing a lot of great things. Yeah. Uh, Devontae Brown has been, is playing linebacker out here. He continues the blitz, even though he knows Bird is going to cut away from him. I'm surprised he doesn't just spy him yep. and just shadow across the line. We are going to watch here. Linebacker is not lined up five yards back. Maybe about three. No legal defense as Murray gets the toss and hurdles Woo! for the touchdown. Josh Murray got up for the six. How do you do? Clock continues to run. Clock is running. We are under three minutes now. It's the Marshall attempt to go for four again. I thought he was dead in the water at the one yard line. Way to go up. Talk about excitement. Yeah. These last three drives have been fantastic. Now, we can't expect them to get it again. The succession rate of this is very low in the CIF right now. Yep. But have to do it, right? As Bird gets the snap, immediately feels the pressure, scrambles, Nowhere. and there is the sack that Rashad Powell Sr. has been looking for all 
night long. Justin Calderon was the only offensive lineman to actually block his guy. Everybody else just kind of let them go, and Bird suffered for it. Yep, seemed to be the dagger there, but it's been a lot of really good fun here. But we're having to see Marshall's milling outlaws. As the time is 8.22 local, this game's gonna get done before nine o'clock, which is, uh, this game's moving. It is, it is moving, yeah, with a, with a slightly extended halftime. We are just over two hours and about less than 20 minutes. So two yep. hours, yeah. So 226 left. 51-36, Rapid City Marshalls scoring in the 30s back-to-back -back weeks. A little too late here in the season to start performing. But doing so against teams that, you know, regularly put up good points and good yardage. The Outlaws came into today um, averaging about, you know, 38.2 points per game, breaking that. Marshalls 20.7 points per game, breaking that. Let's see. We're going to have another onside kick attempt here. 21 has moved himself. Stewart has moved. And I think we got sure hands Wood out there to receive this. Again with the onside. It's it touched, is touched. But a flag is down, though, immediately after kickoff. The ball is still bouncing around. It's fielded by Josh Baptiste, but a flag immediately came out. Maybe the a second that was kicked. It's got to be illegal. All start? Yeah. Or uh, kicking off sides. If not, not, it is set or that nah, calls the climb. Okay, this is definitely against the Marshals, so Sides. calls the climb. Kicking team number 17. Yep, that Corey Tucker there, the call for it. First down, Outlaws. Coach Sean King out here trying to get his offense just to at least settle down and stop the surging Rapid City Marshals for the Billings Outlaws. 2:21 left. You gotta imagine this clock will be moving until probably about the minute warning and then it'll probably be moving again. Here we go, first and 10 from the 14 yard line. Still throwing Stephon the ball. Throws to Chris Lewis and turns out of bounds. So gonna gain a generous five yards. All right, Let's end this season right. On three, I need you to scream. I need you to whistle. One, two, three. Some great noise here. Yep. Rabbit Sea Marshals, despite all the obstacles, Rabbit Sea Marshals fans will turn out as Baptiste gets the handoff in a big hole. As he bounces outside, he's eventually wrangled down from McKinley Smith, but a big time run. 16 yard run. Back. Who has not ran the ball for quite some time. Minute 20 here. Timeout from the Marshalls, Time I believe. Marshalls, their first of the half. Rapid City Marshalls, I believe, probably should have been using those timeouts earlier, on the, earlier in the game. This will be a 30 second timeout. 30 second timeout. So 30 second time out here, Rapid City March 36, Outlaws 51. Outlaws have been having their way. That was a really low snap too, and he was still able to get it to Bartiz yep. efficiently. Josh Baptiste. Right in the backfield. Stefan flips off to Baptiste. Baptiste still on his feet is eventually brought down from McKinley Smith, but a flag is on the play. It's got to be a holding or a chop block there from number zero, Josh Best. Holding, offense, number zero, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Good play, second down. First down. And moves it back first and looks like it's going to be about 19. 
Yep, another timeout here. This will be the one minute timeout. One minute timeout. Yeah, one minute timeout as we will slightly step away and we'll be right back to finish off this game. So, we welcome you back here with the last minute of the Rapid City Marshals 2023 campaign. Um, a lot of sorrow, right? But still something to look forward here, as this game has been very, very, very fun. Stefan gets the handoff, looks to throw deep, overthrows Caleb Woods, but six seconds left. Uh, what is only his fifth incompletion of the game? Yeah. Not saying you should try and pass stats, but normally we see teams Just running out the run off the clock. They run out the clock. They run the ball. You don't really risk all the you know yep. risk of injury, right? Or well, not even just risk of injury, but it's really as a quarterback. I would I would be calling audibles. I don't want my pass completion percentage yeah. to go down. Four incompletions is much better than five. I will say that. And Stefan's been fantastic today. Six passing touchdowns. Yep. Lorenz Stefan. Second down and 19. There's it's the, the handoff to Baptiste. Baptiste able to sneak around the outside. He's eventually tackled from Tariq Pousset. His third solo tackle of the game. Three yards for As him, a man. timeout is called. Timeout, Marshalls. Their second charge timeout of the half. A 30 second timeout. Obviously, Marshalls elected to use their second timeout of the half. They might use all three here just to, you know, show a little gamesmanship, right? There's two aspects of this. Either, I mean, A, like you could have let the clock run out and the game's over and everything, but you know, you want to give your team an opportunity to maybe get the ball back and end the season with your fans on a positive note. B, though, you're giving the Outlaws an opportunity here just to say, you know what? You score another touchdown on you. Yeah. Stefan is alone in the backfield. Murray and Best, or, or Chris Lewis and Best, the motion man. Stefan drops back, only rushing two. Thrown is caught, and bobble picked off. John oh, intercepted. He should oh, be incomplete. able to return this. Incomplete, Aye. Jared Johnson. Caleb Woods bobbled it, having the surest hands all night. That's his second bobble and drop. Let's watch this replay here. I mean, I didn't see it at the ground, but I'm not arguing with it. Yeah, I thought it was going to be another touchdown for him right there, too. Johnson stayed with him. Bobbled, bobbled. Johnson, ball. Hit yeah. the ground. Hit yeah, the ground. Good the ground. Call. Great, great, great. So, so 40 fourth seconds down. left, right? Fourth down. Definitely too little too late. This, this has been uh, the dagger, if you, you will. Julio Snipes step out there, local man at linebacker. They cannot let Bartiz just run. The right side's wide open. Wheel route, Stefan. Pressuring one. They just don't want to allow a touchdown. Somebody's got to pressure, though. He can just stand there all day. Throw is caught by Baptiste for the first down. Pushed out of bounds. For number 18, Jared Johnson. But what, what, what an insane grab that was from Josh Baptiste.
18-yard catch there. And like I said, calling all those timeouts, just put it a first down. This is on the marshals here for not just putting him away. And going Runs for a touchdown fog, now. Looking to throw for the tud. Throws back in the end zone and is caught by Chris Lewis. So foot on the gas, Chris Lewis. They might be trying to score just because the tiebreaker for home seeded playoffs might be point differential. So they almost have to continue playing. It could be, and we talked about that as one of the negative flaws here of, of this situation where you just let them put up more points. But you'll get an opportunity. And they're not backing down. One time I would send out my kicker right here is right here. And they're going right at it. There are some people getting ready to leave here, maybe get down to go down to the field. As Rapid City Marshals end their season, it is 36-57 as a three-point attempt shows up from the Outlaws. Billings Outlaws continuing their win streak of four in a row. Now four games, four games in a row is Stefan. He has him in the corner. Pass, shovel passes to Baptiste, but is broken up or rather short-lifted. Yeah, and, and he, he had Chris Lewis in the back of the end zone as well. So, set to return here. Showing a little something, something left. Heart for the Rapid City Marshals. Rapid City Marshals have been putting on some what of a return to form here. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, in this second half, considering the fact that through 29 minutes, there was zero points scored. It's unfortunate that they decided to use the last 31 minutes to put up all their points. Yeah. Well, you know, this this fourth quarter has been as fun as any other quarter of the Rapid City Marshals. This has been as fun as it has been. As, uh, you know, the season winds down, right? Got a lot to look forward to. We talked about this last year, right? Having a steady, constant quarterback. Maybe it's Wahim Bird, maybe it's not. But having something steady back there is a key. We saw a lot of positivity from Daniel Bice, right? He leads the team in pressures, okay? Just have to tie it all together. Kevin Chisholm is as legit as they come. But as William Perry sets to return, or sets to do the kicking here, Mitchell and Chisholm will do the kicking. So let's see what this happens. We'll see what happens for the rest of this ball game. With 25 seconds left here. Perry kicked right at Corey Tucker. Corey Tucker sure hands. Fielded, return is eventually bumped out from number six, Isaiah Grice, for his first solo tackle of the game. So 17 or 16 yard return there by Corey Tucker. Twenty-one seconds here. Pep City Marshals want to end their season on a positive here, seeing if maybe they can uh, push through. Let's see what they can do when they head on out here. Yep. It's going to be from the 21 yard. A little fire and ice from yeah. Wahim Bird would be nice. Murray in the backfield. Gets the snap. Bird looks deep. Passes. Intended target is Chromie. As Kendall Jefferson, the man at target there. Able to successfully defend him there. Offensive line kind of broke down a little too early. Yeah, almost uncharacteristic. Season winds down here. All right, here we go. Second down and 10. Under 20 seconds. Bird Bird's gonna scrambles, throws to the back of the end zone. Target man is Chromie again as Chromie tumbles to the back of the end zone. This time, Count Jefferson helps him out. Jefferson and Chromie have been going at it for the past few drives here. Surprised we're not seeing him just go for a different target. Same play, same throw. Not 
not saying it's a given and everything, but I would be tar targeting Kevin Chisholm out here as he's going to get up against quarterback Jamario Benson, who's fantastic in his own right. I mean, yeah. when the supreme when, athlete, when the, out, well, when the Outlaws have been able to, to get major leads on people where it's not even close to their team as a score, he's been coming in, getting lots of rushing yards, yep. passing yards, as well for this team. Third down and 10. Bird gets the snap with 10 seconds left yards to, to run on this season. Keeps himself, scrambles, still on his feet. Eventually pushed out with four seconds left on the clock as the clock does stop. Under a minute, the clock stops on a first down there. So we're going to be giving Bird a solid 14, 13 yards there. So final play of the season for the Rapid City Marshals. They're going to fall to 0-10. 2 in 18 in their first two years as a team. Not the successful start you want. Not a successful start at all. Going to spend the offseason finding a quarterback, but here we go. Final play of the year for the Marshals. Bird gets the snap. Throws to the back of the end zone and is picked off by Kendall Jefferson. Touchback. So Kendall Jefferson does get his interception. Yeah, fantastic catch. Two highlight catch there. And that is the game. Outlaws, steal roll, 57. Interception by the defense. That is the end of the ball game. Rapid City Marshals, 36. The Outlaws move to six and four on a four game win streak here, yep. really turning around their season. And the Marshals fall to 0-9. This has been Mosaic MC with this play-by-play. -play. I am Ty Lauder, he is Mike Ortiz. Maybe we'll see you guys next season. Have a great day.